Hello at Stop Dancing Venue Live. Uh, <laughs> and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. Hope your day's going well so far and you are ready for some crafty fun. Softer side of life, it is all about your soft crafts, all about your sewing and your courting. We've got some great goodies on the show for you today. And actually, um, some amazing demos coming up for you too, which I'm really, really looking forward to. What I will say is that we've already been very busy on the show and we expected to perhaps bring more to you um, than we have available because things have already sold out. So, as always, uh, get in nice and early, particularly with the fabrics, because what I find with these um, softer side shows is that the fabrics that we have go very, very quickly indeed. So if you're thinking of, um, uh, you know, getting sewn, getting courting, uh, making as we head up towards Christmas, get in nice and early because um, we'll go through it all in just a few moments time. We've got some faux leather on the show, uh, which last time it was here, absolutely flew out the door. And I know lots of you have already been shopping uh, at our website as well um, before the show. As always, we will be uh, nice and interactive. If there's anything that you want to know throughout the show, any questions you want to ask, or any projects that you want to share with us as well, we would love to hear from you. We'd love to see your pictures as well. You can get social with us on Facebook and, of course, on YouTube. And if you want to email in your pictures of things you've been making, maybe you're getting ready for Christmas. Maybe you're making Christmas gifts for friends and family and you want to share those um, things with us. You can email us, studio at crafterscompanion.com co.uk would love to see what uh, you've been up to over the course of the uh, last week or so um, and of course it is not just me for the next two hours can you imagine I mean I'm 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 very they're all they're laughing in the gallery I've, st I've started sewing thank you very much I've started I'm very good with my sewing machine works it's not working at the moment I can't work out why it's not working I'll tell you about the project that I'm working on in just a little bit it involves a pair of pants um, and a bandana for my dog. More on that to come in just a little bit. <laughs> uh, you'll stay tuned to find out about that, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm delighted to say that I'm here for the next couple of hours with the lovely Sarah. How are you? Oh, tremendous. I have been looking forward to the show. Now, I promised you all in birthday week when we did the launch of the amazing large foil plate, I said this will be perfect for all of your foiling for projects on fabric. So what I said was, as soon as we've got birthday week out the way, I'm going to do a whole masterclass for you on things that you can foil onto fabric. So Ben, I've got the most amazing show planned for you, if it all goes to plan, because, <laughs> because I've, I've kind of got like everything half made and nothing got, so I, we've got a little bit of all sorts. What I did was I took inspiration from the samples that we had on the show. So for example, Lovely, Trisha made me this one wow. where she'd used the foiling onto the fabric, but she joined the borders together. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, just like we do in paper craft, you always need a good butterfly as well to cover up any boo-boos. And I'm pretty sure, uh, trust me, you're going to want to get this. You're going to want a butterfly. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this and how to do the butterfly on the top, okay? Uh, we've got things like little bags. Now, there was loads of these with these gorgeous little bags with foiled pieces on. So I thought I'd show you how to do a nice, simple little makeup bag and then we would foil onto it. But because we've got the four leathers in stock, my favourite things to use are the four leathers. So I'm going to foil onto four leather and make a gorgeous little makeup bag out of four leather. Wow. That's foiled, Ben. Uh, I'm going to do... Oh, I found some backpack dies. So we've got our backpack dies. I thought, yep. let's make a backpack and foil onto the flap of the backpack. So we'll do some... We'll do a backpack in the show. I thought, let's foil our own face masks. Yes. So I'm going to do. A, I'm going to show you my Sarah quick and easy face mask making that I do now. But we're going to do some foiling and use the foil bits in there. I bet I've got all sorts planned. We're going to do a bit of quilting as well later. I'm going to show you how you can use your foil in your quilting. Honestly, when I tell you I've got an amazing two hours planned, I have got an amazing two hour masterclass with foiling, die cutting, stitching all in one go. Amazing. We've only got two hours as well. So we better, better get a move on. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Love the idea of doing a bit of falling on your face mask as well, because we're all wearing those, aren't we, day in, day out? How nice to get a face mask with a bit of bling as well. Uh, now, listen, if you are going to be doing your foiling, as Sarah says, this is something that you definitely need in your life uh, right away. When we launched this during birthday, my oh my, it absolutely flew out of 
the building. Um, it, it sold out, I think, on the first show that we actually launched it, but this is your nine by 12 folding platform. And actually, like Sarah said, you know what? I know so many paper crafters have gone for this and have taken advantage of this deal, but you need to think about getting this um, with your foil press um, because if you are into your soft crafts, which is why you, of course, are watching the show now, you can foil onto so many different materials, not just for your paper crafts, but like Sarah is going to be showing you over the course of this show, uh, things like your faux leather, which we've got coming up. So get this in your life. It is back in stock. Um, I expect it to fly once again for those of you who will be seeing it for the first time with Sarah's demos, but also uh, for those of you who maybe missed out when we launched this uh, back during birthday, which is a couple of weeks ago, already 10% of the back in stock stock back in stock stock here in the UK has gone. So get in nice and quickly. Don't miss out again, for goodness sake. For goodness sake, don't miss out. 99.99 or 129.95. If you're a platinum member, don't forget you got 20% extra off that as well. Now, here's the thing to say, and I, and I know this might sound like a silly thing to say, but I must just mention it. Um, if you haven't got the foil press machine, you will need that as well. This is a component to work with the machine, all right? So if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I like the sound of this, you actually need to use this with the machine, uh, and this is the machine right here. So uh, get that in your basket as well, 99.99 or 139.95. That comes with the, uh, the standard plate, all right? Uh, but it's the nine by 12 that you wanna add into your basket as well. Now, as we said, lots of uh, beautiful material on the show for you as well. Oh, I say beautiful, we did have more material material but unfortunately it's sold out. The faux leather, last time I had this on uh, a softer side show, again sold out very very quickly indeed. Um, we're going to be seeing some great demos with it over the course of this show and actually we've got loads and loads of um, beautiful bag dies on the show for you as well and I think this lends itself to that absolutely perfectly. Now you can order this by the, um, the half meter and we've got available in a whole host of different colours for you but what I will say um, is go swiftly because um, stock is dwindling and going very, very quickly um, indeed. Um, best thing to do is check the web for all of the different colours. I'll, I'll reel them out for you and show you a few. Uh, as, as we go back and forth, I'll show you the different colours. But we've got uh, black. We've also got um, metallic black in here as well. Take a look at this. This is absolutely uh, flying also. All 5.59 or 7.99 per half metre. Also proving really, really popular. It's just so lovely, isn't it? And I tell you what, for your, um, your bag making as well, just adds that real layer of kind of like sophistication, expense and elegance, and you're not having to pay a huge amount for it. It really is gorgeous. This is the pewter as well. Take a look at that. Um, again, proving really, really popular indeed. 5.59 or 7.99. I really like the mustard as well. Last time we had this in stock, I'll just quickly show you the mustard. Uh, this was flying out of the door. Um, as well, the mustard and red. I think I'm sure it's sorry, it might have been, might have been dirty, but somebody um, used this um, last time I stopped and made a beautiful bag out of it. Uh, 5.59 or 7.99 if you want to go for that. All of the different colours available for you on the web, so do check that out. Uh, but we expect the different colours to sell out as we head through the show. It's going to be really, really busy. Uh, now, uh, also very popular when this is here with us. First time I've seen this, the button factory. If you want to be able to make uh, your very own uh, homemade buttons, this is a brilliant brilliant collection for you to be able to do that. Now you get the, um, the button factory itself with the template and the buttons and everything that you need uh, to make those. But also we are going to give you uh, the refill packs as well. And the way that this works out is that you're actually paying for the, um, the button factory and then we're giving you two of the refills for free. So uh, a great deal to be had there. You can see the saving that you're making £10.99 or £14.95. Again, 20% extra off that if you're one of our Platinum members. Uh, definitely worth going for. Always add something nice, doesn't it, to add sort of buttons to your projects, maybe to your cushion covers. Great as well to use with the bag making dies that we've got on the show also. Now, um, also on the show, the uh, Gemini Quarters Guild die collection with 16 elements. This is brilliant. And um, last week actually on the show, we had a good look at these um, these dies and how great they are for you if you are getting into your quilt making as well. You're not having to kind of worry about your measuring, you're not having to worry about this taking time. These just cut beautifully with your Gemini machine to allow you to make some beautiful, beautiful projects. Now, you're gonna get with this uh, your Coxcomb applique. 
uh, which is going to allow you to uh, create uh, tote bags. You've got um, quilts, um, also a table set on there as well. It gives you full instructions as to how to make all of these. You've also got your uh, kaleidoscope wheel on there, again, with full instructions as to how you can make your, uh, your quilt, a clutch bag and some coasters. And then also in the collection, you've got your geometric bloom. Again, with that, full instructions as to how to put together um, a cushion there. You've got a table runner and also your geometric bloom quilt as well. So it's a three in one with each of those. And you're going to get all three of those sets uh, for just £69 or $83. Um, if you're watching in the States. Now, um, some gorgeous um, uh, uh, pattern bags for you as well. Some pattern packs, pattern packs, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is your uh, pattern pack collection. Really great once again, because the kind of thing that you can use time and time again. Uh, we're gonna give you the uh, the weekend bag so you get your pattern and full instruction book with this as well. Great, you know, just to make for yourself. Next time you do manage to have a weekend away or maybe you're looking to make gifts for people this Christmas as well. Really, really stylish. And I love the fact that you're also gonna get the, um, the lunch on the go as well. That allows you to create three projects. Um, you've got your little bag in there. You've also got the ability to pop together a beautiful cushion and then you've got your, well what are we going to call that? Your coffee coffee bag or your, your champagne flask I'll call it. Champagne flask, uh, yeah. I love it. Champagne, expensive taste over here. Uh, $16.98 or $22. And then finally, uh, again, talking about things being made easier when it comes to your soft craft. These bag making dies are just absolutely brilliant. We'll show you some finished projects on these a little bit later on. Um, but you've got the ability to pop together uh, your circular crossover bag, uh, your backpack and your satchel. And again, if you are kind of new to this and you're wondering how easy it is, this is kind of soft craft made easy because you get all of the dies uh, to basically cut out all of the pieces uh, quickly and easily and precisely as well, which is the point here. Um, so again, really, really good buy. Uh, 11 elements, 67.50 or 91.50. Remember, if you're planting and take off another 20%, and that is even more of a bargain than it already is. Uh, obviously, everything is there at the web, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. Um, uh, so get shopping ahead is what I would say. And I know there's already loads of you watching, so we'll do some hellos in just a little bit. Uh, but any questions you want to ask through the show, and as well, projects, send in your pictures, please. We love it when you send in your pictures. We love to see what you've been up to. Uh, so send in those pics and we'll share those with everybody else uh, throughout the course of this show. Just a few quicker loads before we start to. Melissa is watching in Kentucky, Diana in Indiana, Rosalind in Maryland, uh, Diana from North Carolina, and Shelley from Hampshire here in the UK. Right, enough chit chat from me. Let's get over to the creative side of the studio because I know Sarah's got some brilliant demos um, coming up as she's already kind of teased you with. What are you starting off with, Sarah? Well, I thought we'd start off with a nice easy bag. I'm loving, you know, I'm seeing loads of people in the comments saying, I haven't, uh, I don't usually watch Softer Side of Life, but I'm watching today because I wanted to learn about the foiling. Yeah. Then I've got people who were doing the foil, like our Bernadette's on there saying, oh, I'm watching today. I'm wondering if Santa might bring me a foil press for Christmas. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me just say, all of you fabric -y people out there, you are going to want the larger plate, okay? So basically, your foil press comes with this size one in. Yes. Okay? So your foil press, when you buy the foil press, it comes with this in. This one, look how much bigger it is. So those of you who are doing your fabric projects, like I'm going to be doing here, it's brilliant because basically it, it's, it's a little bit like when we talk about die cutting. And I don't, if you remember, Ben, I don't say like you need your large Gemini because of where you're cutting massive mm. dies. It's quite often positioning. It's exactly the same when it comes to foiling. It's all about the positioning, okay? So I'm going to start off really simple though, and we're going to foil a bit of faux leather, I thought. Let's do a simple project, but do something that looks really impressive, okay? Now, what I would say is, when, you are, when you're getting your foil press on for the first time, have a bit of a practice. Do not expect to get it right the first time out of the box. And actually, I've got a couple of foil presses on the go because you need to foil to different surfaces at different temperatures. I'll cover all of that in the show. So I've got mine set up ready here. I've got it set on the lowest temperature setting. So if you have a little look from the overhead, I'll try and bring it down here, should I? So can you see we've got a, a, a lower a medium and a higher temperature setting. These are the three temperature settings here, Ben. Yeah. The little green light for me is on the bottom one because I'm on the lowest temperature. Because when we consult the instruction book, we're going to foil, we're going to, do the, going to do the foil stamp ones first of all. So we're going to foil, here it is, PU leather. So we've got PU leather and I'm going to foil it here and it tells me 
Uh, if I've got a small die, I have yeah. it on the low setting, which is what we're doing for five seconds. If we have a medium one, it's the low for 10 seconds. And if we have a large die, it's the low for 15 seconds. Got ya. So I'm going to do this die here. And I would say this is a medium. So I'll tell you how the small, the medium and the large arise, okay? They are all in relation to your smaller plate. So if you have a die which is less than a third of the size of your plate, that's a small. Between a third and two thirds, that's a medium. And more than two thirds, that's a large. I'm looking at that actually, and that covers nearly the whole of that yeah, size plate. So I'm going to go with large then. So I'm going to put it on 15 seconds. So what you do is, you pop it on here, right? And then we set this to 15. 15 seconds so you go all the way up there to 15 and then you press the start button okay so while that is heating up and I'm just holding mine down just to make sure that we get the heat right into the center uh, so while I'm doing that what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit of the foil and I've just realized my scissors I seem to have misplaced somewhere really exciting uh, got some scissors over here well, but, 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 I've, put, I've put mine somewhere Ben I just don't know where I've put them uh, thank you and, and as if by magic, the lovely Steph will pass me a pair of scissors in here. <laughs> right, it's beep there, look, and I'm not ready. I know, so, come on. Right, you should always be trying and be ready for it at the beep, right? So, you're going to pop that down there. We're going to pop the foil on. I'm going to get my little bit of faux leather, and I'm going to pop that into place, because I want to foil this right in. Actually, I'm going to go slightly nearer the top. Okay. So right near the top, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm using the black leather, by the way, Ben. Yep. Uh, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of card in there just to protect my cardstock. All right. Now, there we go. We pull this towards us. Yep. And then it's just going to go into the machine. Now, I haven't been... You should be organised. You should have your foil cut to size. You should have your scissors ready to hand. <laughs> everything like that. So yes. that when you're going into the machine, you can stick with the, temper the, the temperatures. You can stick with the timings exactly, okay? But what you'll find is, you, the more you use the machine, the more you'll get to know exactly how it performs. So if I pop this back in here, notice when I put it on, Ben, I lie it on the top. I don't plug it in, right? That's because we're not ready to use it to heat again yet. Okay. So I'm going to take off my plate. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to peel this off here. Right, so can you see, I haven't yeah. got that fully transferred. Actually, I quite like that effect though. <laughs> I did. I did. Right, so that is because I left it, and you see I'm getting a little bit more, because I didn't work at the right time. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I could actually stitch that one back in. We'll put this back onto heat, I'm going to wait for this to heat up, yep. and then I'm going to put a one on where we, I've got everything ready, and we'll put it exactly through at the right time, so that you can compare the difference, but actually, I quite like that outline one as well. So I'll, I will cut the next bit of leather. Give me a few seconds. All You'll right. hear the beep then when it's ready. And, but this is the point, isn't it? You know, when you're doing this at home, you won't be doing it on, well, you probably, hopefully, I mean, you won't be doing it on live TV, will you? I mean, you might be, I don't know. Uh, but listen, uh, you, you'll be able to do it and apply it when you hear the beep. What I will say though, um, if you want to go for the faux leathers, they're proving really popular. The, uh, the black, which uh, Sarah is currently using, half the stock of that has already gone. Whenever we have um, beautiful materials on the show, they always go very quickly. And as I said, this faux leather, I've had on, I think once before on a softer side and it flew last time. It's going that way once again. So choose your colors. Just to go through um, all of the different colors that we've got for you as well. So we've got uh, your black. We've also then got uh, your copper. We've got uh, dark brown in here as well, proving really popular. Then we've got your dark green. Uh, we've got your maroon. Um, then we've got your uh, metallic black again. Uh, oh, wow, wow, you thought half the stock gone, there was a bit of a problem. The metallic black, 80% of the stock of that has gone. So go really quickly if you want to go for that. Remember, 559 per half meter. Then we've got your um, metallic navy. Uh, again, just to update you here, look at that, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Half the stock of that is gone. We've got the mustard, uh, that's flying. We've got the pewter and the red. And then we've also got the uh, silver as well. Um, all very busy. Get them whilst you can per half meter. Uh, 5.59 or 7.99. And by the way, if you want to be able to um, uh, recreate and do your foiling, and that's it, uh, go for the 9 by 12 foiling platform. Of course, if you've already got the foiling machine, if you haven't already got that, you will need to go for that as well. Uh, but this is now back in stock after it was launched during birthday. 99.99 or 129.95. 
Uh, take another 20% off that if you are a uh, Platinum member and that price comes down even further for you as well. Lovely to have so many of you in. Let's just say uh, a few hellos to a few people who are uh, already um, watching I've had the beep, Ben. Oh, hang so on, I've the beep. You quick, can, say, you can say hello. You can be the angel on the corner if you want. Right. We're at, we're at 15 seconds, okay? So I'm going to press the start button and I'm just going to be getting it ready while we're at the, while we're at the 15 seconds. All right. So I've got another piece of the leather here, okay? And I would just say, just want to make sure that that heats up. Because it's a large die, I just want to make sure it heats up all the way into the centre. And I'm just going to use that little extra piece of cardstock again, just onto the top there. So, pop that down, pop that on top. Now I've given it, because I cut my piece to size while you were wittering on there. Uh, and I've got my exactly, right, I've got it cut to size so we went at exactly the 15 seconds, okay? And what you would say is as well, I mean, you see how small was five, medium was 10, large was 15. Play about with that sizing on your scrap pieces of four leather that you cut off. So it's the same size die, whether you do it on a little tiny scrap piece of leather or a big one. Uh, pop that back in there, lift that out. And then when we transfer this now, oh, you'll see. So can you see there, we're getting oh, more yes. of the outline. Yes, That's there we real. go. So there is our foil, and that you see the difference there. We get that more infilled, whereas this one that I did earlier yeah. was more the outline piece. Oh, uh, okay. You see, I would do a little bit more of the infill, mm. okay? But to be honest, I think either way, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm not unhappy with the results, and I think that's the difference. You're not going to be unhappy with the results. Now, here we go. I'm going to sew, Ben. So I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to I'm going to move that foil press okay. so that I don't burn myself while we're sewing. Oh yes. Right? In fact, I'll pass with, you my lovely with your foil track press record. It's no, probably not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> right. So we're going to do a nice, easy, simple little bag. Okay. And we're going to do our nice, easy, little, simple bag with our zips on a roll. So oh, yes. Let's have a little look. So here is your zips on a roll. You're a fan of these, aren't you? I, I love them. And so can you see what I've done? What I've done, Ben, is I've cut and I've eyeballed all of this. Just pass me that die off that um, thing, will you, my dear? Just watch because it'll be hot. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right. So can you see? I basically based the size of my project on the size of the foiling die I was using. Oh, it's beeping. It's ready to go again. Uh, right. So I based it on the width of the die. Yeah. And I've just cut it a little bit longer and then look, I've done one that's smaller and then I've got a smaller piece there so that we can put our zip in the front here. So what I've done is, if I just move this to one side, then you can see the front and back at once, right? So I'm going to put a zip in the middle bit here because it's a little bit easier for me stitching. I just thought it was a little bit of a different project than stitching it, stitching it at the top. So it just gives you a slightly different project to what we've done before, okay? Yeah. That's on the wonk a little bit there, isn't it? We'll, do, we'll, maybe, we'll maybe suggest it up. Do you want me to see, do you want to see the one? That one's all right as well. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll be unique, Ben. It'll be <laughs> unique because we'll have made it live on air, okay? That's it, that's it. So here's the thing, right, with your zips on a roll. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this out and you're going to cut yourself a length of zip. Here we go, get out from the bottom. Has anyone not seen these before? I'm going to assume because we've got lots of our new customers, I right? Yeah, it's good to have a look lots at them Lots of all. people who don't necessarily Absolutely watch Softer right. Side, right? Yeah. Can you see, you've basically got a whole line of zip with all of the zippers on here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut a length of zip exactly the right length. Well, actually, I say exactly. Leave it a little bit longer, okay? So I'm going to leave it a little bit longer at the end. And we've got a length of zip cut to the right size to go into our project there with the zipper in the middle. Perfect. And then your zipper goes away and you've basically got nine zippers for future use. Yeah. So I found I did like a, um, I did a lovely patio seat cover for my in-laws. Well, to get a zip, I mean, it was like a 1.2 metre zip, I think. Yeah. But I could just do it all in one go. Because Amazing. you've got it, five metres you get. Event. So for you guys in yards, that's like nearly six yards of length of zip if you're working in America, right? So here's what I would say though, Ben, is get yourself some of your little, I'm gonna use my clippers at the end just to remind me not to take the zipper all the way off the edge, Okay. All right? Then we're gonna go face down into the fabric. So I'm, and actually, watch, I'm gonna take this all the way to that edge. There we go. All the way to the edge so that I don't have to stitch it, so I don't have to stitch around it a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna place these face down in here, Ben, and just use the little, um, Oh, quilting clips yeah. to hold this in place. And then I'm gonna use my um, zipper foot on, this, on the machine. Uh -huh. Pop the zipper foot on here and we're gonna zip along. Now bear in mind, this is about, for all of you people out there who are watching who are foil fanatics, but haven't done any sewing, 
This is about as easy as sewing projects get. Uh -huh. And we're going to do it right from start to finish so that you can watch how to do it. All I'm doing there is sewing the zip. Actually, I'm going to sew it. I'm going to give it a little bit. I'm normally right up against the zipper foot, uh, right up against the zipper. I'm going to give it a little bit of space there, Ben. Yeah. Just so that it's going to lie a little bit flatter as we put it in place. Hey, this is the kind of thing that I'm tackling currently because, you know, I've got into me, um, me sewing a little bit. But, you know, uh, I didn't recently. know you'd been doing that, so I'm quite impressed, can I just say? Yeah, I, I've come to a bit of a grinding halt currently because uh, the machine I've got, well, I'm not getting as much time to do it as I want, but the machine I've got has got a little bit stuck, let's just say, and I was supposed to bring it in today for Bernie to have a look at. Um, uh, but unfortunately, I forgot. But I've I've made some bunting. <laughs> I've we've done some um, I've done some uh, repairs. Uh, and as I say, the thing that I was attempting to do when my machine got stuck was um, make a little uh, bandana for my dog's collar. Um, I, I support a particular rugby team, and I've got a right. pair of old pants which has got their logo on. Right. And what I was going to do was be do a bit of recycling, right? And I was I was cutting up the pants to make right. him a bandana for when, his collar. When you say pants, do you mean pants as we call things pants or pants as the Americans call things pants? Oh, then? I mean uh, like undergarments. You do mean undergarments? Yeah. So you are literally upcycling an old pair of knickers into something that your dog wants to wear. Well, I don't know if necessarily really wants to wear it or not, but you know, he hasn't really got a choice. But I thought- Who you know, was, a dog? Well, it's a good project to take on, isn't it? Well, I mean, I mean, it is, not if you're the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. to be honest with you, I think it's a good job that I'm kind of, you know, upcycling my pants to make something for my dog, because you can imagine if I upcycle my pants and then, I don't know, made something for my wife, it probably... Yes, probably wouldn't probably quite wouldn't go down be, so well. It wouldn't be so good, but um, yeah, at the minute I can't, because as I say, my, she, my machine is not... Uh, working and I can't figure out why. So, oh. uh, next, I'm here next Tuesday actually, so I'll try you and need, remember You to need a good machine, that's what you need, in. Ben. You need a good, you need a Gemini. Ah. You need a Gemini. Yeah. Just hashtag just saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. Look at this. Can you see what I said about I was leaving a little bit of space and it's so that that would go and give me a little bit more, make a bit more of a feature of the zip. Yeah. Right? Instead of having it flat up against the teeth, makes a little bit more of a feature of the zip, okay? Now, obviously, we haven't followed right to the end, but it's all right because we're going to catch that in as we stitch right around the edge. So you take your two right sides together and then look at that. I'm even, you know, I might even just trim a little bit down here. Uh, there we go. And I'm trimming straight through the zip. Not a problem. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, Ben, is I'm just going to, I'm going to move my, oops, don't you go anywhere. I'm going to move my zip to the middle. That's yep. the trick with this one. You need your zip to stay open. Okay. okay. So that you can turn the whole thing back inside out. And what I'm going to do is, this is why we're holding them. I'm going to put the two bits over top of each other. And I'm literally just going to stitch all the way around the outside, Ben. So it's going to take us a couple of minutes. I'll have to just change my foot. Okay. And I'm going to stitch all the way around the outside. As long as everyone can see what I'm doing, that's the key. All right. Um, those zips in a roll, by the way, are available in a whole host of um, different colours for you. So you get five metres of zip and then 10 zips on each roll. Um, so if you want to go for those, again, probably the best thing to do is have a look at our website, but we've, I mean, we've got loads of them. We've also got um, like the concealed version of these as well. They so are the brilliant. Concealed zips. Yes. Uh, but color wise, I mean, just to give you a few different ones here, we've got uh, forest green, we've got cream. Is it the gold one that you're using there? Was it is indeed. It is gold, I thought yeah. it would match my gold foil yeah, beautifully absolutely. well. We've got red, black, Ocean blue. Oh, there's loads in here. Uh, Grey and all sorts. Have a look at the web. Seven ninety nine or nine ninety five uh, for those. And as I say, you can get the concealed zips as well. Um, as I say, it's all at the uh, the website. Uh, crafterscompanion.com.uk or .eu. Just to update you whilst we're watching um, Sarah there, the black faux leather, two thirds of that stock has gone. Um, so again, a lot of people asking about the measurements on this. Um, you order it again, as I understand, by the half meter. Um, so uh, th that's how you order it online. Um, and as I say, it's available in a whole host of uh, different colors for you as well with the black uh, being really popular. Also that metallic black Meta yeah, as well. Yeah, that Not metallic surprised. black. Let me just tell you, if you are right. wanting to foil onto it, yes. the metallic black looks amazing. I bet it does. Just so you know, by the way, everyone, in case you were watching what I was doing, I've yep. just been uh, stitching, I triple stitched over top of my zipper. Just to give it a nice little, nice little finish as we went over there. 
Now I'm right down at the bottom. Don't worry, you're not missing anything else. I'm just doing straight line stitching, Ben. Okie dokie. Um, gives me a chance just to say hello to a few people as well, because there's loads of people getting in touch this morning, including Karen on Facebook. Uh, Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube says, Hello, Sarah and Ben. I'm up bright and early at 6 a.m. to watch your falling oh, on fabric. I'm really chuffed. Um, Shirley on YouTube, good morning. Uh, we'll be watching uh, from telly whilst exercising. Have a great oh, show. Oh, hey. Wow. On the old... Uh, bike or the what's that one called when you do that the cross trainer yeah i bought my wife one of those a few christmases ago i said you will never use this oh no i will i use it every day i said, bet you don't <laughs> spent a load of money on it and guess what she's used about, never used, used it. it about three times i bet um, it makes a brilliant court hanger though does this well well that and also um the kids just love to kind of like jump around on it and just yep. do, you know, uh, random stuff. So Yeah, yeah I, I, my kids love jumping around on mine because that's about as much use as it gets. <laughs> yep. Although, hey, Ben, yep. I was thinking of you this morning. I was out running oh, at half past five. I saw your was message. missing me running, running buddy. Yeah. You, so you started up again then, have you? Or yeah. Did you stop and then start again? I just had a couple of weeks. I've been really busy the last few weeks, so I haven't been yeah. getting out. So, uh, yeah, so I've decided this is it. I'm getting back into it. You just go to. I went running. When did I go running? Two days ago. Did did three and a half miles. But I, you just go a bit early, especially this time of the year now as yeah. well. Yeah, I did think about texting you last night, and I thought I know what the reply is going to be if I say, "Do you fancy going running at past five, Ben?" <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much. <laughs> right. Let me show you. I'm going to show you a really clever little technique with this yeah. one. Okay. So if you want this, I mean, you could just go with this if you want a nice flat. In fact, do you want me to show you it? Show you the difference. So if you want just a nice simple flat bag, right? This gives you a nice, simple, flat bag, right? With your lovely zipper in there. However, if you want your bag to be a little bit 3D, we yeah. can put a little boxed bottom in, right? It's one of my favourite things to do, this box off the bottoms on my bags, because I think it looks super uber professional, mm. but it's really easy to do. So watch what you do. You get to the bottom here, Ben, right? And then you are going to literally pull this out. So where is it's flat at the moment? Let me just get them two back flat how they were, right? What you do is you take these two sides and you pull them so that those two bits go flat against each other. Yeah. And you see, you just nest the seams in together. And then what I'm going to do is sew diagonally across there. So we're just coming to here and we're going to sew diagonally across, around about, because people are going to ask how far in, isn't it? I'm going around about an inch in and I'm gonna just triple stitch across them just to be on the safe side with them being the bottoms of the bags, right? Okay. So can you see that? I've gone round about an inch in, straight across the corner there. Yep, yep. brilliant. So I'm gonna do exactly the same here. Open it out, and we're just gonna nest those two seams together. And then about an inch down, I'm just gonna stitch straight across there. And it's just a brilliant way to make your uh, bag look really professional, I find, Ben. Absolutely. Right, here we go. So straight across there, just tuck that over, and that gives you the box bottom. Now, what you can then do at this point is once we've stitched across them, is just go straight up. Give it about um, about a quarter of an inch or whatever after the seam. Go straight over there. Those corners, that just goes in the bin now. Yeah. And then when we take this over like this, uh, we've okay. now got a little bag that's got the lovely little zip in, yeah. but that's got that little box in at the bottom, so it's going to stand up on that its own. That's brilliant. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. So there we go. First little foiling project complete. I've got all sorts planned for you. I've got that. We're going to do a backpack. We're going to do some uh, quilting. I'm going to do my face mask a little bit later on. If you've got any questions, send them through, Ben. Yeah. I am at your disposal for the, for the whole two-hour show. Uh, and we're already half an hour into that show. Can you believe when the time's fine? But it's brilliant, isn't it? So using the faux leather, using uh, the foiling machine, those zips on a roll as well. Somebody commenting on here about this actually. Uh, Mary Pat saying, those zips on a roll are really cool. Um, I haven't tried them yet. You should give them a go, seriously. They look brilliant, don't they? Uh, the fact that you get all that length of zip and then you get um, all the zips to go with it as well. Something else actually, which lots of you are commenting on, um, is the uh, button factory. Um, so let's have a look at the details of that. So again, this is a really cool deal actually, because it gives you the opportunity um, to be able to, if I show you these, um, to, to make your own button. So you get um, everything that you uh, need in there, you get your little template, and then all of the details to be able to put these um, beautiful buttons together. This is um, normally 10.99, and if you look at the screen going, well, it is 10.99 today, uh, but we're also going to throw in uh, not one, but uh, two more packs of the uh, the refills as well. So 30 buttons in each gives you um, 
Oh no, yes it is, isn't it? Is it 15? No, it's 15. 15, so 30 buttons in total. Uh, these are normally on their own um, 5 99 So it's like we're giving you £12 worth of um, buttons for free. So 10 99 for the lot today if you want to go um, for that within your basket today. If I just pop those um, back. Um, also, if you are looking to um, top up on your foils, or maybe if you're thinking to yourself, well, actually, I've never foiled before. What do I get my foil for? Thankfully, we have got um, plenty of foil on the show for you as well. Um, lots of different colours available for you. I have a feeling that the uh, the rose gold will be uh, very, very popular. Always is. Can I can we have a quick look at this? I don't want to destroy the set too much. Here we go. <laughs> Johnny's just gone, here he goes. They know. I've got previous when it comes to picking stuff up off a set and destroying it. Um, so there's your, uh, there's your rose gold. Um, again, proving really, really popular at five meters worth of, um, of foil with each of those rolls. Next up, uh, we've got the gold. And as you can see, so easy to use, isn't it? In conjunction with your, uh, your foil press. Great for the fact that you can use this on a whole variety of um, different materials as well. Um, and the brilliant thing is, as we've seen, I'm gonna put those there and put them back in a second. You're doing this on purpose, guys. We weren't gonna look at all these individually. I know what you're up to. I know what you're doing. Uh, but as we said, the great thing is you can fall onto a whole host um, of different materials as well. So if you are thinking about maybe getting some of this faux leather this year and making you know, bags for um, friends and family, I love that last little bag that Sarah was making there. You know, maybe, I don't know, it's a little um, you know, toiletries bag that you wanna make for um, friends. Maybe you wanna make a little makeup bag. Um, whatever it might be having the ability to be able to uh, use the fall on top of that just adds uh, that sort of next level doesn't it adds that bling now if you want to go for all the different four again as I say we've got a whole host of different colors for you available check out our website uh, for the full list of those foils now uh, talking of things which are really really cool the um, the quilters guild die collection um, with 16 elements this is great again because um, using these in conjunction with your um, Gemini it allows you to be able to kind of um, I suppose work quicker and, and potentially work more accurately as well because you've got all of the dies there uh, six dies in total here to allow you to cut out all of the pieces to be able to make um, your quilt blocks and, and make all of these different shapes um, this particular set which is just one of the three that you're going to get within collection um, allows you uh, to make the uh, coxcomb tote bag you've also got the uh, the table set and uh, this quilt as well and it's full details in there as well full instructions for you to be able to pop that together now as well as the uh, the coxcomb you've got the uh, kaleidoscope wheel uh, again as well so again with this you have got um, four dies in there which is going to allow you to cut out the shape to be able to put these beautiful projects together so again really nice ideas whether you're making these for yourself this year whether you're looking to kind of make um, gift ideas for um, you know stocking fillers Christmas gifts you've got the ability to pop together a beautiful um, coaster then you've got your uh, clutch bag in there as well and the quilt again full instructions on how you can put all of those together and then that is not all you're also going to receive um, in this collection uh, the uh, beautiful geometric bloom once again uh, this one also allows you to put together the cushion uh, the table runner and the quilt again all the instructions that you need to be able to pop that to work together that's four dies in total there uh, to pop those projects together uh, 69 pounds or 83 dollars uh, if you want to go for those today again less your 20 percent uh, that comes down even further for you as well as sarah says uh, get those questions in anything that you want to ask us over the course of this show uh, things that you've seen already maybe you want to ask about the foiling maybe uh, the stuff that you want to ask about any of the goodies that we've got on the show as well get those questions in uh, and maybe you've been doing some foiling already maybe you've already received the uh, 9x12 uh, foiling platform and you want to show us the projects that you've made we would love to see your pictures you can get social with us at uh, Facebook and YouTube and of course uh, there is our email address studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk send in your pictures there and we will uh, share them with everybody else who is watching this morning this afternoon and I know lots of people who don't normally watch softer side tuning in today just for the fact uh, that we are doing the foiling of course as well showing you that it's not just about the paper craft foiling uh, is all about the soft craft as well as we've already seen with that first demo uh, from Sarah just a few moments ago with that beautiful bag 
Right, uh, we are going to cross back to Sarah and see what she's up to. What are you making now? Well, what I've done is I've got, so I've got two foil presses on the go here. And the yeah. reason is, Ben, because I'm going to now foil onto 100% cotton fabric. So when you're foiling onto the 100% cotton fabric, can you see what I've done is I've changed my temperature setting and I've put it, I'm going to, let's have a look. I'm going to let our overhead camera get us all sorted. Right, I've put it here on the hottest setting. Can you see? Okay. So if I was to press on it now here, it's telling me it's got to cool. This, it's at the right temperature for. So yeah. it will adjust it accordingly, okay? And I wanted to show you one of the things that I'm really proud about this plate is it's got these little wires run all underneath inside that you won't see so that every area of this is exactly the same it's not like it's hotter in the middle i'm going to foil now down in the bottom right hand corner just to show you yeah because well, it's pretty much because it's in your shot but just to show you how easy it is okay so i'm going to go to uh oh let's have a look reset i'm going to go to one minute press the start button and we're going to count down for one minute and i'm going to cut a little bit of the foil now it's really important oh you want you're going to want to know why i'm doing a minute aren't you right because in the instruction booklet here ben you will see we've got here uh, if we're doing our foil stamp dies foil stamp cut or if we're using the multi-surface foil okay. so the multi-surface foil is only for pu leather and cotton fabric okay so only basically if you're working on to fabric stuff this is when you need the highest temperature setting so for a large die i'm going to go with a minute and it tells me i need an extra 300 gram card shim so that is this bit here okay so that's an extra piece of cardstock so what i'm doing is it's counting down from the minute i'm just going to foil a little bit of this 100% uh, cotton fabric because I'm going to do some buttons with the button factory that we've got. Oh. So I've just got a little scrap piece of fabric. Yes. I've got my little scrap piece of foil. We should hear the beep any second. There it is. You pop the foil Time to down. Perfection. You put this little scrap on. I'm just using that same die pretty much because I had it to hand, right? I'm going to put that piece of foil in and then we can go around. Now, this this die, by the way, Ben, is yeah. absolutely brilliant for a lot of you. You'll notice I've used it for a lot of the fabric projects I've been working with today. So I know we're down to the last of our stock that we've got of it now, but that one is brilliant. Yeah, if you want to grab it, 19.99 or 24.99 uh, back in stock. Uh, we haven't got huge quantities of it, I don't think. So if you want to uh, grab it, uh, get that in your basket today. Just saying about the buttons that you're going to show us in a minute. I'm glad you're doing that because a few people have been asking, I've been about, asking the about them. The button factory. Well, I've not seen that you. either, actually. Let's make some lovely foiled buttons. So if I take this off, oh, wow. right? I'm going to take this off. You can go back down there because I'm going to use you on the PU leather next, which I need the lower temperature on. You can go there to be a little bit warmer, right? So watch this. When I transfer, I mean, look at that. Can we just appreciate how fabulous yes. that transfer is? Onto cotton fabric, yeah, Ben. Yeah. Cotton fabric. So I'm just going to make sure you're plugged in. We we'll have to do the face mask next. One of my oh. favourite projects to do. Yes. Whatever it is you guys want to see. Whatever I wish I brought my face mask in now. Oh, of, uh, Ben, I could have foiled it, it for, me. for you. Yeah. So look at this. What I've done is I've done a foot. Now, this could be all of your scraps that you're doing into this, okay? Or this, these could be your practice pieces, right? So just foiled onto them. And now, now I'm just drawing around so we can do a couple of these, okay? Now, this little template comes inside the button factory. Okay. So the button factory comes, multiple, multiple things inside your button factory. The key thing is your template and these two bits. Right. Right? Now, they look a little bit like, like oh, my life, what is that? Yeah, what is that? Uh, but you'll see in just a second, that is the button factory. Oh. So this is what's going to make, oh, right, that's at temperature now. So we're ready to It's all to going on over there. I know, you do you know what? I feel like I'm trying to have this balancing act between, because what I did do is I was trying to practice my timings just before the show, Ben. Yeah. And I only went and left it on too long. And then because it's on the top, top setting, it wants to go to cool. Ah, I see. So I'm trying to find that magic balance between uh, getting the right temperature but not letting it um, not getting it so hot that it then wants to go to the cool setting. Oh, I think I know how this button factory is going to work. I don't want to say. Oh, I don't want to say. I, I don't like want to make a fool of myself. But I, I see what you're doing here. You see where I, I'm getting I at with see, this? I can, I see you would bits. love this for panto costumes. This would be oh. brilliant. Oh, right? no, I wouldn't. Oh, yes, he would. <laughs> right, are you ready? So this go into this bit here. You're going to go face down with that bit, right? And then you're going to push this into here, right? So you push the, you get loads of these buttons, and like you said, you get the spares in. Yeah. You push all of that into there. Yeah. That goes onto the back. Yeah. And then this comes in, and you literally just push down. Uh -huh. And then as you push down, 
you then just lift this out and it's made ah. the perfect little button. That's brilliant. Isn't that absolutely brilliant? Yeah. So now our wonderful, uh, whatever projects we make, we have the matching button. Should we do another one? Do it. Right, so into this, you just quick. go lie that over with that. Yep. Oh, I've, I'll get some more buttons out of here. So can you see you get loads of the two parts of the buttons, okay? And then we do the extras as well. Yeah. So I'm going to get the, uh, oh, we've got the outer and the inner. That goes into there, Ben. Yes. You pop all of that in there. Hold it in, yeah. Pop the, the back, back piece on. on. Yeah. Put the top down, squash it in. Yeah. And then all you do is literally turn it out and you get the perfect little Oh, buttons. that's brilliant. Isn't that absolutely brilliant? Yeah. I mean, for ten ninety nine, fourteen ninety five, why why would you not be adding one of them to your armory? Absolutely. I mean, why, right. Because they would they just look so brilliant on all of your all of your projects they would look amazing on. Yeah. It's kind of that finishing touch, isn't it? You know, the kind of uh, finishing touch, giving it that real professional look. And the fact that you're getting the button factory today with uh, the extra uh, buttons as well. So you're getting 30 extra of those for free. That's a great buy. It really is. Like you say, kind of adding that kind of finishing touch, that professionalism to your product. Uh, 10.99 or 14.95 so there you go so for those of you who were um, asking about the uh, the button factory demo there you go um, lots of people getting very excited um, about the new foiling platform which is still available um, Kathy actually said hi from New Jersey I already got the new foil press large plate can't wait to use it um, and uh, talking well actually we'll come on to the leathers in a minute but Gilmore saying I went crazy and ordered all the foam leather I wanted last night because I knew it would sell out got the black pewter copper steel metallic black and navy can't wait to get them this is the point that's great shopping as far as Gilmore's concerned because things will go if you want to go for this remember this is the uh, the brand new 9 by 12 foiling platform sold out when we launched it at birthday it is now back in stock and you've seen just how brilliant it is 99.99 or 129.95 um, so usable within your soft crafts as well as we've seen, not just for paper crafters. What I will say again um, is that if you are thinking, oh yeah, I want to get this, if you haven't got the foil press machine, you obviously need to get that as well because this is kind of an accessory that you use with your, uh, with your foil press. So your foil press machine is $99.99 or $139.95. And of course, you'll get uh, the standard plate with that as well that Sarah was showing you um, a little bit earlier on. Um, so make sure you get that into your basket as well. Loads of you loving the uh, platform. Loads of you loving the uh, faux leathers. And of course, the, um, the buttons as well, the button factory. Uh, lots of love going on for the zippers as well, which are all available. You can find those all um, at our website, of course, as well. Uh, Mary Pat saying the zips on a roll, really cool. Um, and just touching on, someone was saying they were exercising whilst watching us earlier. Uh, Vicky says, my cross trainer lives in my craft room. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> Another question here, actually, just talking about sewing machines, because um, I was telling Sarah I'm doing a bit of sewing. Christine says, when are the sewing machines coming back into stock? Oh, I don't know. Do you know there's been a worldwide shortage of oh. sewing machines? We are at the back of a very very long queue oh. for getting manufacture of our sewing machine right so basically watch this space just keep checking back and uh, hopefully we'll get hold of those um, very very soon indeed another question to ask as well which lots of people have been asking about so if you are obviously foiling onto the different materials is there any way to kind of um treat the foils so that, that we, we are then able to like wash them or um things like that or is it a case of just having them as decoration and then sort of wipe them down do you know, with the multi-surface foil, yeah. I mean, to be honest, because I'm going to make a face mask here, yeah. and you're going to be doing a lot of foiling, uh, foiling, you're going to be doing a lot of washing yeah. of your face mask. So do you know what? I'll do this one, and I'll let you know how it fares oh, going okay. through the washer. Yeah. I mean, hand wash would probably be ideal, but yeah. it's not really what you want to be doing with your face masks, is it not? Probably not, so, to be honest. Yeah, so I'll give it a go. I find it's for decoration. So when you do yeah. like bags and cushion covers and that, you're not doing a lot of washing of them. No. Um, but this will be the first time I've made, I've done some foiling on something that I think is going to get some some heavy heavy washing. So we're, we're going to learn together, guys. Absolutely. All right. Well, we'll look forward to that. And actually, with the face masks as well, you've been making one or two of these, haven't you, during uh, lockdown one and lockdown two? I've made masks. absolutely loads of face masks. And to be honest, it's quite excited to be doing some foiled ones. Just so you know, while we're all chit-chatting, I'm just starting the foiling. Because I needed to foil it twice, yeah. I've done it once there already. I have gone a little bit slightly skew whiffy there, but never mind. Uh, plug it back in. Just need to wait for it to warm up again, and then we can do the other side. All yeah, right. Slightly skew whiff. Tell you what, you're not going to notice, though, when it's on your face. No. Mask, I thought if we do some going downwards, and then I'll show you the easy Sarah way to do a face mask, should I? Yeah. Brilliant. 
Excellent stuff. All right. Um, as I say, lots of love still coming in for all of the um, the, the goodies. Marie, uh, Maria saying, I got the uh, foil die. It's lovely. Lots of you saying you love the foils as well. So as far as the foils are concerned, a whole host of different colors for you. Uh, the gold is still available. They're all 3 dollars You get five meters of um, uh, foil for each color. All right. So 3 dollars or 3 dollars um, for the uh, gold. The other colors we've got available, the silver. Am I picking these up? Oh, you want me? Oh, you don't. Do you want me to? No. Uh, we've also got the uh, Aurora. Uh, we've got the turquoise, uh, the cerise, and the berry as well. All three ninety nine per roll, or three ninety five. Uh, so whack a few of those into your basket because they do tend to uh, sell out very quickly indeed. Yeah, we uh, don't so have the multi surface foils very often, no. Ben. Um, so we've just got them in stock, re essentially ready for the file press coming out so that we can do these shows with the popular stuff. And if you ever open your foil rolls, by the way, and you don't know how to tell if it's the right type of foil or not, your multi-surface foils are all brown on the inside. Okay. So papercraft foils are white, multi-surface foils are brown. Excellent. There you go. Nice and easy to remember. Oh, um, oh we're beeping over there. Does we're beeping, we're... we're beeping. So we're, we're going to go. go. We're going to go on there. I'm going to go down with my second piece. Bear in mind, guys, you know, I'm live on air here. Talk about being under pressure. Whereas when you're doing it, I found when I was doing this at home, it's much, much kind of more relaxed as it was. But be prepared. Oh, no, we, we've beeped to get to temperature. We haven't beeped to get to our minute. Oh. Be prepared to give it that little bit of time for playing. Make sure you use it. What I do is I keep all these little scrap bits of foil yeah. and I practice with my scrap bits of foil and my scrap bits of fabric. Yeah, good idea. Then once you've found, ah, right, yes, I just need to give it an extra 10, 15 seconds when I'm using that dye on that sort of material, you start and get used to all of that. The more you use the foil press, the more you start and understand where you can push it, how you can do a bit more. But the reason I put the leathers on the show is the best thing to start with. I'm foiling onto the most difficult thing here, which is your 100% um, cotton fabric. Yeah. If you can foil onto 100% cotton fabric, you can pretty much foil onto any fabrics. So the, the man-made ones are much, much, much easier. So look at this. I mean, onto 100% cotton fabric, we're Phenomenal. getting pretty awesome results there, Ben. Right, right, yeah. So other than the fact that I've got a little bit wonky skew with, it's going to be a unique face mask. I'm going to pop my foil press out the way and I'm going to show you the Sarah special way how to do how to do a nice easy face mask, okay? So cut your fabric to about eight inches, which is what I've done here. Get yourself your little ironing board. Uh -huh. I'm going to bring my ironing board up here and I'm going to iron some pleats into it. Now you need two pieces, one for the front, one for the back. That's so, a cool little ironing board. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just it's just a bit of wood with some wadding on it, and yeah. I've wound some fabric over ah. and stapled it down. Yeah, I need one of them. Just shows. To do it on the old uh, kitchen table. You want to get the ironing board out. So let's have a little look. So you've got two pieces, two pieces, eight inches square. Okay. Yeah. Now, so watch what I do. I like to go uh, fold it over like this, mm -hmm. and I'm basically putting the pleats in. So I'm just folding it and then putting the first pleat in. Yeah. Like that. And I'm going to continue like this and put my pleats all the way down here. There all we right. go. Next I'm, one. I'm following this and taking notes because I'm kind of thinking this might be the thing that a beginner like me might be able to uh, tackle. Once I think you, abso working. you absolutely could tackle this, Ben. This is really easy. So you're just putting your pleats in yeah. all the way down. And I find I like a three pleat mask. Right. Okay. So I do really like a three pleat mask. How many have you made, do you reckon, over the last few months? Oh, made crikey. loads. Lords, yeah. not hundreds, no. but I would say scores, dozens. Wow, I would say. Um, well, yeah, because everybody asks me for them now, yeah. So, you know, like the mother in law just puts her order in. Oh, I've seen this, <laughs> seen this fabric on your website. Uh, would you be able to get so I'll ask our Simon to pick some up from the website. <laughs> can you from the warehouse and can you make us a one? Are you still right. taking orders? Because I've got another spare uh, oh, pair of pants. Oh, here we go, here we with go. My, uh, with my uh, rugby team on. So if I use one pair of pants for the dog's bandana, I could, you know, maybe send the other pair to you to make me a face to mask. To make the face mask to match yeah. it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Right, let's have a little look at you. That so, means no. But <laughs> <laughs> Ben's going to bring me his old pants in. Yep, that's it. Uh, way to get in with the boss. Right there, Ben. There we go. Right. Oh, um Right, can you notice how well this is ironing, even though it's foiled? Yeah. It's just ironing absolutely beautifully. And I'm, I, I'm just ironing these pleats in. Now, all you need to do is make sure that your front and back pieces are the same size by the time you finish with them. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So, there we go. One there. 
and then I fold this one over again. And this is where I need to just make sure they're both the same size. So I always have one laid there. And, and this is where I can, I've started like um, I've started making them like different sizes for different people. So my father-in-law, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, he's got quite a big head. Right. So, <laughs> so I made him a slightly larger one uh, than my dainty mother-in-law, who's got a nice, like, smaller head. Mm -hmm. Much easier, right? So there we go. So we're going to have our foiling on the wonk, but, you know, you aren't all going to focus too much on that. Right, here's where we go. Oh, so you're going to need your bit of... You're going to need your elastic, right. and you, if you're doing your own, measure it to your face. Right. I know my face because I've done several of them, and I find seven inches is lovely for my face. So uh, I always cut my elastic to seven inches, right. uh, based on doing an eight-inch piece of um, eight-inch piece of fabric, and then seven inches for the um, little bit that go around the edge, the little bits of elastic. And then watch this. We're going to pop this in here, uh -huh. and that's going to go into there, and then we're going to fold this round to here. And that's going to go into there. And actually, oh. these then sandwich inside the other piece. Now, I, I usually kind of do it all in one go, but I'm trying to do it slow and easy for you for the camera. And I'm going to pop these under here, right? And then this whole piece just goes face down on that one. And we're going to just go there and we're going to just catch that in, okay? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to um, stitch basically all the way around, but leave one of the um, i'm just going to pop myself a couple of extra little clips inside i'm going to leave an opening at the bottom so i can turn it through okay okay here we go you look you, you're looking fascinated do you want to stay with what i'm doing yeah i, I, I well, think i think i can talk and sew all right because genuinely right? i think i might have to try and give this a go uh, when i get back well, can you see how easy it is yeah. even if you don't do it with the foot now let's have a look i'm going to make sure i've got the pleat under there uh-huh and so i'm going all the way down the bottom and just making sure that i catch that in and make sure also, because I've done it several times before, where I haven't caught in my elastic. All right? Okay. So turning that right around, and then you're going to come along the bottom, but leave enough. So can you see, I've done a little back stitch there. Leave enough. Uh, make sure you don't catch your elastic in. Near the bottom, there we go. And then I'm going to put a little back stitch in this part here as well. And then hopefully you've left enough for turning it round. All the way along to the bottom, you're coming out there. Leave the needle in, up we're going round. Super quick, this as well, isn't it? Oh, they're really. I mean, bear in mind, all I'd done ready was cut the pieces of fabric to eight inches. Yeah, everything else we've done live on the show, including doing the foiling. Yes, so I find I don't often sit down and just do one, but if I was, it would be definitely less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Definitely less than 10 minutes. This hasn't been five minutes yet, I don't think. I mean, yeah. flying in, in, if you're bashing out quite a few of them, at least mm. you can see there easily how to do it now. All right, there we go. And then all you're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to turn it inside out. And I like to, I give it a lot of nice little presses as we go. All yeah. right, so here we go. I haven't quite, I haven't left an overly big gap, but doesn't matter because they, they, you tend to find it's just going to pull through nice. And because they're the 100% cotton fabrics, they're, they're really lovely in terms of um, the ah. nice kind of finish on them. All right. So here we go. Let's make sure these are coming out at the ends. Yep, they are. And then coming out at this end here. And then put all those pleats back in. All right. And then that bit there, yeah. I like to just get the, uh, get the iron. And just make sure we're ironing that all back in nicely and then top stitch over the top and nobody will even realise that where the where the kind of gap was in there, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. It just reminds me as well, one of the things that I made, um, I made a little um, material um, mobile phone case for my uh, daughter. That was one of the first things that I, I did and um, I kept doing it wrong because I kept um, stitching it inside. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you always have to do it back to front, don't you? Right. Oh, and yeah. put it through. Yeah. Yes. And I, I kept doing it the wrong way around. Oh, About bless About three you. times in a row, even though I told myself uh, <laughs> what I should be doing. I didn't listen to my... You didn't listen to yourself? No. Right. I'm just going to top stitch all the way along here, and then I'll show you the Sarah special way of shaping your face mask. Right. And I love these. I honestly love these. So I'm just top stitching all the way along the bottom there. And actually, while we're going, we might as well just top stitch the whole thing so that it looks uber St professional. Stacey's asked, why did you go back and forth at the top and the bottom of the mask? 
Right, so that is just where, you know where I was leaving myself a little bit of a gap? Yeah. So that's where I was leaving myself a little bit of a gap to turn it through. Yeah. And I didn't want to pull at the stitches when I turned it through because I'd left such a little gap. Yes. So, and it's just, it's just one of them things. Nobody's ever taught me to do that. I just find that that's, sort of when I'm out. doing my I just like to do that. It, I find it just, it's just less likely for the stitching to pull away then. Yeah. All right, here we go. So there is my mask. And if I just try that on, perfect sizing. It's quite Christmassy as well. It's quite nice with the foiling on, isn't it? It's now, brilliant. If you want to do the Sarah special way of shaping it, right? Underneath here, can you see what I do there, Ben? Is I just kind of get it into play. I've just realised I need to do my Sarah special before I do the top stitching. But what you can do is where you've got that piece there. Yeah. Is I usually do this. So I just pick, I just fold it, nip it together in the middle before I do the top stitching all the way around, and I just put a little dart in it. Okay. But then I've done all my top stitching now. So, but I but do you know what? I don't really care because it looks so really good. I'm go do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scare our head I'm going to come right to the camera so you can have a good look. <laughs> right? Because I'm so <laughs> pleased with it. Are you ready? Oh, I'm coming. Here we go. Extreme close up! <laughs> That's great! Yeah. <laughs> Loving the modelling. You've obviously done this before. Fabulous. Very pleased with that, right? I'm back. Yeah. So there you go. So there's my, yeah, uh, there is my Sarah special foiled face mask. Uh, and that's on the wonk a little bit, but you you don't notice when that's on, do you not? You do no. not notice. No. Yeah, it's, uh, that's good because I was worried when I did it a bit wonky. I was like, no, should I readjust it? But actually, I don't think you can tell with that at all, can you not? Nah, it's yeah. brilliant. Quite pleased with that. Right, I've still got a backpack and some quilting to do, so I best get tidied up and get cracked on, Ben. All right. Well, I tell you what, I'll um, kind of you know witter on as you, uh, as, you <laughs> as you put it over here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that. What you do is that just <laughs> wittering on. A um, lot of love for the um, the mask. Uh, Michelle saying, what a pretty Christmas mask. Yeah, it's got real Christmassy colours on there, actually. Um, yeah, and just generally loads of people uh, loving the show. Cindy saying, I've never sewn, but would love to learn how to make face masks. Well, there you go, Well, there Cindy. you go. We've just shown yet. You There's can, no uh, reason why anyone couldn't do it now, Exactly ben. right. Give it a go. And the great thing, of course, with all of our shows is that you can watch them back at your leisure on YouTube, on Facebook, so you can uh, watch the show. Little bit later on maybe once you've got all your fabric got your elastic got your sewing machine out uh, and give it a go and then maybe next week when we're back uh, with softer side you can show us what you have been making show us how your mask turned out we would love to see right we need to update you on a few sellouts that we've had so the uh, metallic black that unfortunately has sold out uh, the uh, pewter as well that was very popular don't scream and shout, but that is now. Oh no, that's gone as well. Uh, the metallic navy, if that is uh, the, one of the um, fur leathers that you've got your uh, eye on, that is now limited stock. So go quickly if you want to grab that. And then also limited is the black. That's great. Th Everyone's oh, no. gone mad for it, haven't oh, they? I know. Uh, that's limited and also we've not even kind of shown you this on the show yet but obviously loads of you shopping ahead on the web I'm trying to just put this back to some sort of neatness who was it last week who was getting cross from me can't remember uh was it bernie wasn't anyway, me wasn't no, me no uh the red is also uh limited stock 5.59 per half meter depending on uh, which color you want to go for but uh, as we are learning these are flying out of the door. Whichever colour you want to go for, uh, get it now whilst you can, because we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only nine left um, for you. Um, also, uh, if you are obviously making these projects and you're wanting to make sure that you're getting the very best cuts and fabric scissors, very, very handy to have. These are the uh, So Lovely Fabric Scissors. Um, it's a 10 centimeter blade, very nice as well, stylish. If you ever want a stylish pair of scissors, uh, you've got it right here, rose gold, which everybody loves. Uh, 10 pounds or 12.75 is your price on those. Again, if you're shopping for somebody in your life who loves a bit of soft craft, uh, then that uh, ben, nice little stocking filler where as have you well. found them from? What? Oh. Where have we got them? I thought they were sold out. No, no, I no, no, no. I cannot believe we've got a pair of that. I have one pair of those left that I keep in my office and I will not even bring them over to the studio wow. because they're like my precious thing. Have a look at them, they're rose gold. I know. So I did these as a one-off special. So we brought a limited amount in and these here, I mean, honestly, Ben, 
why are they on offer? You could charge double for them, Ben, and we would still sell everything that we've got. Right, so all I can assume is, because we haven't had another production run, that they've found some at the back of the warehouse when they've been cleaning out for birthday week. My word, you are on to a treat. Do not miss out on them. They are fabulous, fabulous fabric scissors. Like I said, I've got mine in my office. Won't even bring them over here. because they'll. That's it, I'll never see them again. So uh, I might be taking those ones as well home with me, because I no doubt those, those will sell out. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just watch me. <laughs> I, I need a nice pair of fabric scissors, actually. Maybe they'll disappear into my bag. Um, right, just need to uh, let you know as well about the uh, bag making collection that we've got. Um, I can show you some of the finished samples here, actually. But um, you've basically got the ability to be able to make your um, uh, crossover bag. You've also got on there as well. Um, which ones have we got here? This one is your um, satchel. There we go. Uh, you've got your backpack and the uh, the clutch crossover as well. So basically, all the metal dies that you need to be able to cut out all the pieces to be able to make bags. I, I would I would model, but I, I don't know if it's bags like. This. What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah, oh, I put this, put it on, and and producer Johnny went. Mm. Oh, look at that. I think you look right. pretty good. I tell you what you would look good in. Yeah. You'd look really good with one of my cork ones. Now, this is oh. the one I made a few weeks ago on a softer side show, so you can go and watch the whole tutorial. This is definitely more your colour. Having said that, that one is very much your colour, Ben. I mean, it goes with my eyes, doesn't it? I, <laughs> I do quite like this, actually. It's really, really nice. Um, it is a, it's, a, it's a nice shape. It's a nice material there as well. But, of course, you know, you've got the ability to be able to... Uh, I think it, it's not, no, it isn't reversible, this one. But it's nice, beautiful. And then we've also got, with this, uh, the ability to be able to make this little bag here, which, again, I'll just pop That's on. That's my favourite one. I've made loads and loads of that one. It's called, well, that one's called the satchel bag, isn't it? It is the satchel bag, yeah. Yeah, look, I've got, I, I Ooh, haven't made that. this one here yet, but this is a fabulous, I love it in these colours. This one was made by Sally. Sally's done this one. Yeah. The two little, it's brilliant as well, by the way, with your poppers, if you want to put your poppers on. But I think that is a fabulous little bag. I've done this one in faux leather. I did it in like a, um, in like a mint coloured faux leather. Oh, it just looked amazing. I mean, it was a, it was a whole day project by the time I sat and, I went to my Auntie Margaret and we sat and gossiped all day and, and made ourselves a little bit, a little handbag each. But I just think though, that, to, to then come away after spending a, a lovely afternoon with my friend and have made one of these, we had an absolute oh, whale of a time. <laughs> I just had to carry on and just realised I've still got the bag on. <laughs> It looks good on you, Ben. It looks good. Uh, 67. I do quite like it, actually. 67.50 or 91.50 uh, is your price on those. Uh, right. Uh, oh, quick question about the scissors. Can left-handed people use the scissors? Oh, they can. We? we made them so that they work both for right-handed and left-handed people. I'm a righty. My sister and my dad are both lefties. So we had a lot of lefties at our house, you see. Good. So uh, everything we had. To, the first thing my dad always asked me, is that, does that work for left-handed people too? So I can promise you that my scissors absolutely do. All right. Uh, so we are now going to have a look at uh, a backpack, correct? Yes, I'm going to make the backpack. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to use here. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's got, you know, when it gets so hot, it switches itself off. Oh. Yeah. And it goes to the cool. So I thought, oh, I've just got that lovely. Right. I'll try. I'll try and push it another five minutes and then that one will have to cool and we'll have to resort to the other one, Ben. This is why I'm having to plan it, you see, when you're doing it um, falling at the high, high temperatures. Yes. So I'm going to, I better get my, I better get these cut and then do my little bit of foiling that I was going to do, okay? Now you can go back and watch the whole project where I make all of the backpack. With this one here, I've had to do a little bit of pre-making, but for anyone who's brand new to it, I want you to see how easy it is to use the, um, to use the dies to cut things like your faux leather all right so here we go when you're cutting um when you are cutting into fabric always add your metal plate right and watch what you do with these you take your fabric so i've got my lining fabric and also the outer fabric folded them in half ben i'm going to put the two seams up against each other and can you see this goes right up there up against that seam now it's really important to hold it in place with a little bit of tape so i'm going to just slightly tilt this and you can obviously as you're doing it you can cut multiple layers with these can't you well i'm cutting my lining and my outer bag right. all at the same time fingers crossed then so there we go one and then i'm going to do exactly the same with the other one down here get all of that lined up perfectly happy with that lizzie always taught me this she said 
stick your die to the scrap fabric to the metal plate so always put a, a big chunk on like that okay then you want your clear plate you want your top plate you don't use your magnetic when you're using your fabric cutting dies and then even though i've got this precariously balanced over top of my foil press we can pop that through so that'll do all of my cutting then do you know what i'm going to use for foiling We've got these lovely starburst dies. Oh, wow. What I did is I tried to choose dies to go on this show that I thought worked really, really well yeah. for foiling onto fabric. So we've got the starburst, well, we've got a few different types, but the star in particular, I thought was really nice for this project, okay? So here we go, that is all cut perfectly. Oh, this is where, if I'd known we had my rose gold scissors, I would have the rose gold ones out <laughs> for snipping these little corners perfectly. I would offer you the ones over here, but they're still in the packet, and I, not... I normally get told off to take them out, so I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> Right, so here's what I'm going to do. This is the flap of my bag, yep. and I'm going to foil the star onto the flap round about there like that, okay? So if we're going to do that, I'm going to bring my foil press in. Let's, let me just show you before we go. I'm going to foil onto a, I'm going to foil onto PU leather. So I want it, now let's have a look. If I'm using the multi-surface roll onto PU leather, I want 25 seconds, right, for a medium die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to 25 seconds. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the positioner, right? 27, 20, 25, right. So if I try and bring this into shot so that we can see it on the overhead camera, oh, right? Yes. Can you see you've got a ruler runs all the way along here? Yep. Yes. So I'm going to get a little bit of foil. Now I know I've kept it simple. Where on earth have I put that foil? I know I've kept it simple and done. Oh, I'm, should I do a bit of copper? Oh, yeah. Oh, a bit of rose gold. Oh, we love rose gold. A little bit of rose gold. You Goes see, scissors. at home I only had a uh, gold multi-surface foil to play with because we've literally been waiting for the stock. So I'm quite excited that we've got the uh, that we've got the rose gold back into stock now. So I've cut myself a little piece of the rose gold in the multi-surface foil, right? I'm going to position this down on here. So I can you see this star has got two larger points at the bottom. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to position them at the bottom in the middle of it. This is the zero line here. So I'm going to pop that in the middle of that zero line and make sure that is all lined up. Press my start the countdown, right? So I know now that the die is perfectly positioned because I've used that zero yes. positioning line right for the center of my die. Then I can go down with the fabric piece here, right? Uh -huh. I've just realized what that is. Is that a little bit of, oh no, I thought that was me there. I thought I, I thought you had a little bit of black on the screen because of, uh, what's this piece over here? It's my, oh, it's this. Yeah, uh, I tell you, I tell you, you know I was what? thinking, what's that black? Oh, it's thinking, exactly the same. On the camera up here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you're looking up to go, yeah, what's that? There we go. So I'm, I'm lying that now with exactly that centre line right on the zero, okay? And then I'm going to take my top plate and I'm going to take my top plate, I'm going to pop it on here and I'm going to pop this through my Gemini machine and we're Does going to get the perfect foil on. Does it tell you in the instructions, because there's a question from Terry Tom who says, how yeah. much total fabric do I need for the backpack? How much total fabric for yeah. the backpack? Yeah. Oh, I'll have a little uh, look and work it out. I right. would say about two and a half metres. Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll need it. that much, no. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie over here, tell, Stephanie worked with the team who designed this. Uh, she's saying two and a half metres, that seems like a lot. I don't think you'll need quite two and a half. I'll get it to work it out and then we can give you an answer. All right. Lovely. Right. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is going to be the this is going to be the big moment of has it worked or not? I mean, of course Yay! it's worked. Now look at that. How amazing is that? Well, you're going to see anyway. Never mind asking the question. How amazing is that going to look on my bag? I'm going to put it on my bag and you're going to see how amazing it's going to look. Exactly right. right. You're ready for a cool down, aren't you? So you can just With go me? over there. <laughs> you might go, the you've got another hour to go over there. <laughs> right, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start. I've already done my um, little handle from the top. Yep. So I'm going to pop the handle in the centre. I'm just going to hold it in place with a little pin. I don't usually like to pin. And I'm going to pop some, um, I'm going to stitch these into place. Let's have a little look. I'm actually going to, I'm going to push them in a little bit and so that I've got a little bit of a handle there. Right. 
and I'm just going to stitch that into place bed. And then what I'm going to do, because yeah. I'll do two things at once, uh, I'm then going to take my lining that we've done and I'm going to stick my line, I'm going to sew my lining on right sides together and, and stitch round. So as if you need to do any updating or anything yeah, like that, I will. now's a good time all right. because all I'm doing is some straight stitching. stitching. I won't do, I promise I won't do anything exciting okay. until you come back. Well, um, we have got some updating to do. And I've just got to read out my favourite message of the day so far from Amy G on YouTube, uh, which just goes to show you learn something every day. Holy cow, says Amy, I have a Gemini. I had no idea it could cut fabric. So there well, you there go. There you go. You learn something new. It's always a school day here at Crafters TV. Always a school day. Um, right, let's just update you on a few bits and pieces. The metallic, uh, the, the, the faux leather that we've got, the metallic navy, don't scream and shout, but that's now short out. That's gone. Uh, congratulations if you've got your hands on that. We've got uh, limited stock on lots of others as well. The mustard, which is just absolutely gorge. This sold out last time it was here. Uh, and it is gone limited stock once again. So if you've got your eye on the mustard, remember it's 5.59 per half meter or 7.99 uh, if you're watching in the States. Uh, and those scissors, by the way, uh, you're going absolutely bonkers. Absolutely, bonkers. They should be going oh. absolutely bonkers for them. I can't believe you're getting them at that price, Ben. 10 pounds, 12.75, yes. Uh, it is a bonkers price. Uh, get them whilst you can. Those are probably going to go once again. Um, also, just to remind you, if you want to be able to recreate what we're doing over the other side of the studio, uh, then you'll need these bag making dies, which are just brilliant. So you're going to get the three different um, styles. Okay, so you've got your um, your crossover clutch there, your circular crossover bag. You then got the uh, the backpack as well. And then you've also got that satchel. So again, all the metal dies that you're using in conjunction with your Gemini uh, to cut out all of the different shapes to be able to put the bag together. And as you've seen, they'll cut through multiple layers for you. They'll cut through different materials. And it just makes life so much easier for you as well, particularly if you are a newbie to your soft crafts. You don't want to have to fuss around with all the measurements and the trimming and the cutting and all these kind of things. You've got these in conjunction with your Gemini, kind of doing all that hard work for you, taking all of the kind of faff and the worry and the stress away. Uh, you've seen how simple it was to use and you can get onto the fun stuff uh, very, very quickly indeed. And it will make, um, there's that beautiful little uh, crossover um, bag there. We've got your little satchel, of course, here too. So it's gonna allow you to make uh, beautiful bags just like this. And of course, make them in the, uh, the color that you want. Make them to the style that you want as well. Great for little Christmas gift ideas. And actually, you know, when the, uh, the world gets back to normal at some point, hopefully in the not too distant future, then, you know, these are the kind of things that you can use time and time again, make these, sell these, of course, as well. Um, I just think it's a really, really cool idea. 67.50 or 91.50, uh, less than 20% if you're platinum, them, of course, as well. Uh, brings that down even further for you as well. Lots of love uh, for all of the projects um, today. Lots of love for that face mask, which we showed you a few moments ago. Oh, you um, see, personalized foiled face masks. I yeah, mean, it doesn't I mean, get much better than that, Ben, does it not? It certainly doesn't, especially when you're doing it under 10 minutes. Timed it, eight minutes it took Sarah to do that. Did so get, yeah, Aww. eight minutes. The eight minute personalized face mask. Um, so yeah, lots of love for that and lots of love um, for this little uh, bag which you're putting together as well. Mm. Looking good so far over it's there, It's going Tara. to be fabulous. I added a little um, closure, by the way, onto it. A little what? A little, uh, oh, a little, little popper. Popper. Yeah, added a little closure popper onto it. And then I'm just going to iron it flat. Now, I'm not going to top stitch it just because I'm trying to get it finished in the show. Now, I want to finish it and show everybody how it works. And I actually, I think it looks quite nice even without the top stitching on it. So mm. I, I've made this bag a couple of times now on softer side. It's one of my favourite demos to do. Yeah. Um, and actually, I don't think I've ever top stitched any of them. So it just shows you, you know, you don't have to be, doesn't doesn't have to be a very long time consuming project for it to look fabulous. Okay. All right. Yeah. So there's my lovely foiling onto there. Beauty. There is my there's my lid of my bag with a little handle on there too now i have done you can go back and watch them other projects where i've shown you how to put the whole of the bag together i've done a lot of pre-stitching on this one okay so let me show you what i've done ben right i've done if i turn this inside out and you can see i have done the base of the bag yeah right so you do like a nice little circle which is one of the die so the it die cuts a circle for you and then you stitch your outer piece of fabric which it also cuts for you all the way around the outside so you've got the front and the back panel they join together and then they connect to that piece there quite straightforward yeah very and like i said it's it's, it's straightforward and you can go and watch me as well right yeah. so 
actually let's have a look i've turned that back inside out but i am going to i am going to turn it inside out i'm going to have it inside out ready right i've just put on the straps by the way so i've just put some lovely straps and i've left them there i actually think just to be on the safe side i might just i might oh i should be all right i'll tack them in as we're going along so watch what you're going to do your fabric so this is the back you want your right sides together with the flap is going to go there in the back, right? So okay. if I just mark the centerpiece on here uh -huh. and I can see the centerpiece there, that is going to connect into here. And that's so I'm going to just use that to hold all of that there now. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with this other piece here. And we're going to hold that flap inside on the back of the bag, okay? So there we go. So there's the bag. There's the... Um, there's the flap of the bag that's going to go onto the back and then you need to sandwich the flap then that is going to get sandwiched inside with our lining uh -huh. right so the lining is exactly the same and all i've done again right is i've taken just exactly like you just saw with the last one ben right i've just done the bottom stitched it all in stitched the sides up the difference is I've left that, you know when someone's asking about the back stitching pieces? Yeah. I've left a hole so that I can turn the whole thing through and stitch that back together, okay? So that is now going to go, and it's the same front and back. So I'm going to turn this so that you've got the right sides together. So that's the right side of our fall leather. It's going to go, yes, I know you are. <laughs> it's, it's like we're ready for foiling, Sarah. We thought it was a foiling show, right? And I'm going to line up those seams. Yeah. And I'm just going to hold the seams. Do you know, I'm quite excited, Ben, if I've had anybody who's a paper craft dude, doesn't usually watch our Softer Side of Life show, tuned in because of the foiling, still watching, fascinated about the fact that we're going to make a whole backpack live on the show. This is what we do every week in Softer Side, yeah, guys. You should, you we should, do cool stuff like yeah, this. You should tune should in more tune often. us every week. Exactly tune right. every week. Yeah. So. Don't, just, don't just dip out the one show a week. You should, you should watch this one as well because this is the great thing is that you then might decide to say, well, actually, I want to get into bag making. I want to get into quilt making. Well, you've got the ability to be able to do that because we bring you so many great goodies on this show. And actually, again, if you're seeing things like the, um, the bag making dies, um, it allows you to get into doing this quite quickly as well, as I say, because yeah. it, it kind of takes away all of the um, all of the faff for you. Just very quickly, whilst I'm just watching you. Well, um, I'm going. I'm just going to go all the way around there, just so you know. Yeah. I'm going to take off my. Actually, it's not too big. Yeah, I think I can do it this way. Yeah. So what you can do is you could take off your arm and put this whole edge over there. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll, I'll take that off there like this, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the uh, the back side of it first. Okay. And I'm just going to start in here, and I'm going to stitch all the way around, Ben. Um, whilst you've been doing that, I've been doing a very important job over here, um, taking the scissors out of the packaging. Oh, I, to be I know what you're playing. You're thinking I I'll take them out of the bag. And then we won't be able to sell them, so I'll have to take them home. No, I've been very, very careful and make sure I didn't damage the uh, make sure I didn't damage the box, so they yeah, can they can right. go back in again. Apparently, loads of people are going for these and uh, wanting to get their hands on these beautiful uh, rose gold scissors. They do. Of course, the they do. Business, they are they? rose gold fabric scissors yeah. at ten pounds. Yeah. Well, who would not want to get them, Ben? I'm just being really honest there. Come on. So I'm going to very carefully put these back into the box. And, uh, and I will. I'll put them. I'll put them. I'll put them back in. Now, yeah. listen. Since we kind of notified you the fact that we've got these, uh, half of the stock of the scissors have gone. Like Sarah says, maybe we found some more during birthday at the back of the warehouse. Don't know how this has happened, uh, but they are here on the show. But half of the stock that we have got has now gone. Lots of people taking advantage of that deal for ten pounds or twelve seventy-five. Uh, get yours now whilst you can because uh, those are likely to I will, sell out. I will tell you as well, they yeah. do make lovely paper craft scissors. Oh, right? really? Uh, however, it's not like our other scissors. You can't like mix and match and go between fabric and paper. If you know, if you're wanting to use one for paper, you're gonna have to buy another pair yeah. to use for your paper. So they're not they're not the same as our other ones, right. but they are beautiful. In terms of a pair of fabric scissors, they're about as beautiful as you'll get, let me tell you. Uh, normally 14 99 or 19 95 you're getting them for a tenner or 12 75 So you, yeah, you get, get two today, but get them whilst you can because they are likely to sell out, go swiftly. Um, are you ready for me to do my turnaround? Oh, go on then. Let's go see on if then. it's actually 
actually worked. This is always the worrying moment, isn't it? Doesn't matter how many times I do the bags live on it, it always worries me. Right, so we're going to go, I'm going to grab the bag and we're going to bring the whole bag through that little hole. This is why, I, same on the face mask, you left that, I left that little bit of a gap. Right, here we go. So, yeah. well, that looks promising that I've got my flap. Let me just get those a couple of little extra bits of thread off there. Uh, then I've got my flap is all sewn in. Oh, I'm liking the look oh, of this. Oh, I am as well. Tell you what, oh, Ben, I might let you have this one. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. This could be your new bag to bring your lunch into work every day. Yeah, I'd love that. Right, so... I was only saying last Tuesday I needed a new bag if you were right, watching the show. Look, what I'll do is I will, I'll just quickly whiz down that uh, little gap that we've got there, close that up. Now, this is me being optimistic here. This is me saying I'm assuming it's not going to be wrong and I'm not going to have to take it back inside out. I know it won't be. Uh, you say that, Ben. You, I don't think full you've done faith, enough soft haven't we, guys? Full faith in Sarah. <laughs> I don't think you've done enough soft side live shows <laughs> with me. Right, so that is going to go inside there. Yeah. Now, you never get any top stitching on my bags that I do live on air, Ben. I've already told you that, right? But yes. there, there we go. So that goes inside. There is my flap coming over. Oh, Ben, it's oh. going to look really good. And then, if you want, because I'm going to do you the flap. Watch what we have. We've got the D-rings on the shore. Oh, Here yeah. we go. Right, we've got some D-rings. So, what you do is you get your D-rings. Oh, and you need four D-rings for your project. So, you need two on each. And can you see, I put a long flap and a short flap. All you're going to do is you're going to thread these on, yeah. right, onto the short one. And then you're going to stitch it, stitch them in place. So, I'll crack on and finish that for you, Ben. Okay. Uh, is I it really know. for me? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not even joking. You oh. tell everybody about the D-rings. I'll finish making your bag for you. Look at that. A star bag for a star presenter, right? That's, ex that's exactly <laughs> it. And then don't be going saying that to Derek and Joe, otherwise. Yeah, can you imagine? Otherwise, I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> There'll be two more bags you have to make. No, yes. honestly, you're both my stars. <laughs> I can imagine the conversation now. Uh, listen, if you want to go for this D rings, details are on your screen there. Um, the rose gold. I mean, come on, six pack of rose gold for four ninety nine or 6 95 uh, Again, just the little bits and pieces that you'll need to add into your basket along with your, um, your dice to be able to make the bags. Just the bits and pieces with the fabric, of course, um, as well. Um, uh, more details of the D-rings that we've got available for you on our website. There's um, rectangular uh, versions of those, and we've also got the brass and the silver uh, available for you as well. Loads of love still, by the way, for those scissors. Um, oh, they're so pretty, says Rebecca. You can't, you couldn't see them inside the package. Yeah, I know. Uh, Shelley on Hi, Facebook. They had to come out, didn't they? They just had to come out the package. Exactly. Shelley says, no, they're not in my pocket. I put them back in here. What do you guys take me for? Seriously, there, there they are, in case you were wondering. People used to put them in his pocket. He's, he's stealing them. No, they're back in there. Uh, uh, Shelley says, um, talking about the scissors, that would be me. I'm a paper crafter. I'm watching for the tips on foiling. I uh, think I might try my hand at sewing a bag. Oh, Wish me luck. You've oh. Got, you've, as long as you've got the bag dies, yep. you can absolutely try your hand at sewing anything, to be honest, guys. And our Bernie on Facebook says, I love those scissors and I'm a lefty. Uh, they make that satisfying cutting noise, which all stitchers recognise as quality. Oh. So there you go, um, recommended by our very own Bernie. So make sure you um, you get your hands on those. They are proving to be very, very popular. Right. Turn around. Indeed. I'm gonna try it on your back. <laughs> First day skill picture. Oh, sure. Keep going, and you can see the, we can see your star now. Oh yes. Now now you look fabulous. Fabulous. Even goes with the waistcoat. Don't say I don't look after you. Is this seriously mine? Yeah, seriously. I am literally, I'm just turning around so you can see. I'm I, Literally, I've never been so happy. <laughs> How good does this, this, this look? I mean, come on. Do you know what? This is handy as well because I carry around, a re you saw it last week because they made me show it on the show, a battered old, terrible, ripped man bag. Yeah, because they were taking the mickey out of me in there and then they made me bring it on the show and everyone was like saying, you need a new bag. So I've got this now. I can put my little wallet in there, my phone, my little uh, snack Star in there bag. too. Star Oh, thanks, Sarah. Oh, what can I say? You've got the best boss in the world. Yes, I have. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm literally going to wear this for the rest of the show. Honestly, this is brilliant. Seriously. I love it. Right, but all, all everybody at home needs to do is get the backpack die set. I mean, I did the difficult bit. The, 
the, the only difficult bit is the final attaching of all the bag together. As long as you can sew in a straight line, you can sew that bottom on. You can go and watch the whole project of how I've done that before. Sew the bottom on, and then you just do the outer bag, the inner bag, piece them together, stitch the flap in. You've seen it. I mean, come on, seriously. This is like the best thing ever, right? You've got the ability to, you can make your own little style bag if you want it, absolutely. Get these, because they're brilliant. 67.50, I've never been so happy. Uh, 91.50, if you're watching in the States, take off your 20%, boom, there you go. Um, Michelle says, that bag would be super chic for your daughter, Ben. What, I'm not giving it to me daughter. She's not having it, what are you on about? This is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky. Oh. I'm putting everything else up on me. Yes. Uh, everything else I made, yep. I'm putting up on me little uh, on me little display. I'm quite pleased with my face mask, actually. Uh, well, absolutely. Uh, little face mask on there. Oh. Hey. What have you got? Oh. I, t I tell you what we haven't talked about all show, Ben. I was supposed to get it out and show you. Yes. <gasps> look at this. Tell us about look this, at this little decoration. Oh, come on. Right. You've got to get a look up on close, right? This is the official launch of our brand new Christmas ornament. Notice I said ornament, because I know a lot of you in the US will be buying. So Crafters Companion, official Christmas ornament. And we have done this. So our charity of the year that we support is the Bradley Lowry Foundation. Okay, we've been working with the Bradley Lowry Foundation for just over a year now. And we said, you know, the all charities have been hit hard this year, really, really hard. And we said to them, we wanted to do something really, really special. And I know you guys would love nothing more than to have something Crafters Companion mm. hanging on your Christmas tree. So what we thought we'd do is kill two birds with one stone, give you something awesome to hang on your Christmas tree, and also make something whereby we could donate 100% of the profits Amazing. to the Bradley Lowry Foundation. It's the best way we could raise a ton of money for a fantastic cause. You guys can be getting this amazing little Christmas ornament, hanging it on your tree and supporting a worthwhile cause at the same time. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, make sure you grab that today if you can. It's a brilliant, brilliant charity to support as well. Uh, and just $5.99, you're getting yourself a fantastic Christmas ornament and you know you're helping a brilliant charity as well. Those of you in the UK will probably know all about um, Bradley Larry and the, and the foundation as well. So a brilliant, brilliant charity to support. And of course, if you want to be even more generous, you're thinking, oh, one for me, you know, one for a, a family member, <gasps> the two for yes, 10 pounds two. or two for $15. So if you can do that, then please do. Um, great little Christmas ornament to have and as I said great way to be able to help a uh, fantastic charity as well uh, loads of people are still messaging me going um, I think you should give that bag to Daisy uh, definitely give the bag to Daisy Pam saying sorry Belle I think Daisy will have that off your bag as soon as you get home <laughs> she won't uh, right <laughs> Right, uh, let us um, give you some more details of the, um, yes, the foil uh, stamper cut those. These are brilliant. Th these have always been really popular. So this is the, um, the Shine Bright. So if you want to be able to get some amazing uh, new stamps to foil with on all of your materials, then grab these 1049 or 1396 if you want to go for the, uh, the Shine Bright uh, collection. Uh, we've also got the Love You. These have proved so popular time and time again. Um, so if you are, again, brand new to this and you're needing some beautiful um, stamps to fall with, these are great. So that's your Love You, 1049 or 1396. Uh, then we've got the Thank You. Of course, as well, if we have got paper crafters watching, these will work with uh, your, your, your car projects as well. But obviously, we've just been concentrating on the, the, the fact that um, you know we're doing a, a softer side show. So we've been concentrating on foiling onto fabrics. Uh, that is the Thank You. And then if you want to be able to uh, you know make a, a bag just oh you missed a bit yeah superstar you missed missed the uh, the superstar at the middle of the, the the star to go on there as well superstar the best number one uh, 10 pounds 49 uh, for the superstar uh, or 1396 we've also got just for you uh, as well uh, that is the uh, the three-piece set um, and then we've got the Be Happy as well, which we are all being today. It's been such a great show uh, and still 25 minutes remaining if you want to get your, um, your questions in um, as well. Oh, by the way, the uh, Blossoming Border, which you saw a little bit uh, earlier on, you've seen that in a few demos already, that's still available for you too. Really, really beautiful stamp, this one, uh, to use with your foils. That's available for 19 or 24 uh, 99 
Um, lots of you going for the uh, uh, Christmas tree ornament as well, by the way. We'll, we'll touch more on that in just a few moments time as well. Um, the Quilters Guild dies too, proving really, really popular. These again are great, same sort of thing here, allowing you to spend more time on the fun side of things rather than measuring and um, you know having to cut yourself. So um, you're gonna get um, three different designs with this particular collection. This is the uh, Coxcomb um, collection. So you've got the ability to make a beautiful quilt, details on how to put your, um, your tote bag together and uh, a table set. You've then got um, included with this as well, the um, kaleidoscope wheel, again, with that three different projects for you to be able to um, put together including look at that, that gorgeous little clutch bag as well and then finally within this collection is your uh, geometric bloom again three projects to be able to work with including uh, this cushion and you've got a gorgeous table runner in there as well so whether or not you're making these for your own home or again you're kind of thinking to yourself you want to make um, Christmas gifts you want to make you know, your own handmade gifts this year for um, friends and family then absolutely uh, this is a great set to go for, £69 or $83. Um, lots of you uh, saying that you've uh, already gone for the uh, little decoration, the ornament, which we showed you a few moments ago. Crafting Stacy saying, already got it, can't wait to put it on my tree. Um, already bought it, says Pam. Uh, Kathy says, love that ornament. My family and I get a new ornament each and every year. Uh, now that my two oldest live, in, uh, live on their own, they have a ton of ornaments with lots of good memories. Uh, and Crafting Stacy also saying, 5 99 that's nothing. It's a lunch deal and a coffee. Come on, guys, get one bought. Yes, absolutely. Five, like you say, nothing really is it. And the fact that you get a beautiful Christmas ornament and that money is going to be going to a fantastic charity as well. Definitely a worthwhile purchase today. Right, um, Diana says, awesome backpack. Oh, I, I know. I it, love that you're so chuffed I Honestly, that. I yeah. am. You know me, I'm a happy-go-lucky kind of chap. I'm always happy, but today I'm literally, I might just stand this way around for the rest of the show, actually, so you can just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I kind of wish I'd made it in like white leather now or something, then you could see it on your back. But I, I think it looks really good in that colour. Yeah. But as in all of that faux leather, that colour sold out anyway. So it's probably a bit of a mute point. So we will get it back in, guys, as soon as possible. Trust me, the faux leathers go in as fast as we get. They go out as fast yeah, as we get do. them in. They really so. do. Uh, we've only got about 25 minutes left, so um, what, what can we cram in the final Right, 25? so the Quilters Guild, oh, yeah. I did the launch of these dies a few weeks ago and you guys absolutely loved them, so I thought, right, why don't we do the Kaleidoscope one, which is a nice easy one to get you started with, and it's brilliant, we could foil some of the panels and quilt some of the panels that we foiled, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take these out and you'll see each one of the dies, Ben, comes with a full instruction booklet, so yes. you get like all the ideas as well to go with it now what i'm going to do is i've already got some so you're going to cut all of these well you're going to cut these three sizes here to make your if i just show you on the front if you want to do your basic quilted pieces okay so i'm going to do a basic quilted pattern and then if you want you've also got the little hexagon oh, yeah. you can go in the middle all right so i know i need these pieces in the yellow for the middle section so watch what you do you see you're just going to take this i'm going to fold this over cut through my two yellow panels so I've got some of my others cut but as long as you can see me doing uh, some of the cutting I think and then let's have a look there oh crazy one no onto there onto I'm gonna I'm gonna play the roulette wheel here and do it without my see this we've got a big piece of fabric okay. without my tape down send that through I feel like I'm playing roulette with that. I'm then doing it over top of my foil press. I, at home, just so you know, guys, I don't have all my stuff this close together. Yeah. It's just because I know that you're, obviously, I, I want you, the camera to be able to see everything that I'm doing, okay? Now, this is one of the fabrics that we've got as well on the show, but these are the 100% cotton fabrics, which means we're going to be using the multimedia uh, foils, and we're also going to be using the higher temperature. Oh, and I've had you set on the lower temperature. Right, okay, so I forgot you were the one on the high temperature who's now cooling. You were the one on the low temperature. Oh, oh. so I had this all set up. Never mind, right? What I'll do is, I, well, I'll find it a little bit. What you'll see is it won't take as well, but at yeah. least you'll be able to see and observe the why, right? Still okay. going to look nice, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of the rose gold. Get me them scissors. Get me them scissors, Steph. What? I'm going to have what? them scissors. What? I don't see why I should get them, get them scissors passed over. Get me them scissors. 
Yes! <laughs> well, if I'm cutting the rose gold foil, I don't see any reason why not to use the rose gold. Right, thank you, my dear. <gasps> oh, you have done... Oh, my word, you have done perfect, haven't you? My word is yeah. Like oh, yeah, now the pressure's on you not to ruin that box, you see now. Eh? Right, OK. Eh? Well, you do better than Joe when it comes to taking labels off, I'll give you that much. Oh, really? Does he... Does he... You really do. He's, he's a, he is yeah. a little bit gung-ho. Well, you know... <laughs> Star presenters like me tend to uh, <laughs> take their time when they unbox things and put them back properly. Right. Oh, it's just fabulous, isn't it? They even come with this little protector on the edge. That's it. That's oh, yeah. it. I'm having put them the now. protector back on as well. Right. So I just need a little bit of foil to go over my... Now, look at the... Look how they cut. Oh, oh yes. look how they cut. I'm going to do that again. Go on. Just going to get to the right size and then look how they cut. Oh, absolutely love it. Bernie says they make that noise that um, the, the crafters love as well. That, oh, oh, yeah. Crisp. Yeah. Crisp. Oh, oh, yes. I'd forgotten how lovely they were. I literally, I have mine. I use mine in my office all the time. They're just perfect. Right. <laughs> right. Here we oh, go. Dear. You're not getting them back. End of. <laughs> right. So, where have I put my instruction book? I'm not oh, joking my, either. Like, I've got, do you know what, Ben? I've got stuff everywhere. That's all right. Right. I can't remember where I put my instruction book. So. Where is it? I don't know, apparently it, it's, under it? it's under here. Oh, it's under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it definitely is. Is a point. Right, here we go. So we should be on the highest temperature, which we're not. Uh, and we're <laughs> going to foil 45 seconds. Uh, 45 seconds for a medium one. Let's go a minute. See, see no, that's a second. Right. Yeah, go a bit longer than that. Minute. 59 right. more of them. Let's see. Let's see if that works. This is why you need that booklet, mate. Yeah. Do you know if you ever do lose your booklet with your foil press, you can just download it on the website again. Oh, that's handy. Or if you want to download it, what I know a lot of people have done is downloaded it, just printed this bit out, stick this on top of your Gemini. Because yeah. you can't use the they can't use the foil press without your Gemini, so you might as well stick it on top of your Gemini and you've idea. got all your sizes ready. Good idea. So Right, so for anybody, by the way, who's just, while we're waiting, you've got up for 36 seconds to kill. So if you're just thinking about getting your Gemini foil press today, okay, what I would say is, if you own a Gemini machine, it is a tiny, you've already made the big investment, it's a tiny amount more to upgrade and get the foil press. It has already got all of the technology built into that machine to enable you to foil. So every Gemini, right from the first ones off the production line, were fitted with a heat sensor in the hope that one day we managed to develop this technology, then you would be able to foil with it. So everything you're seeing me do now, as long as you want a Gemini machine, there's no reason you couldn't do every one of these projects that I'm doing. Yeah, there's, there's the beat. The beat. Uh, just by just by the addition of, of the foil press. So it really is absolutely ingenious. Now look at this, I'm going to foil onto here. When we're foiling onto a small area like this, right, you do need to add a little shim, so just a little piece of card on the back there, just because what it allows you to do then is any excess foil will go onto the cardstock instead of going onto your foil, top foil there. It doesn't matter, Ben, but I just think it keeps it looking a little bit nicer as well, okay? Now, bear in mind, on 100% cotton fabric, you do need it at the top temperature, and we haven't waited for it to heat up to the top temperature. So sometimes it might not quite take as well as you want. That's why we're the only foiling machine on the market that has the multiple temperature settings, because what you don't want is you don't want to be having it too hot when you're foiling onto paper craft, because then it, I mean, what, this is foiled beautifully well. Let's see if it's foiled onto the fabric equally as well. Oh, it only oh, has been. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, and that's got, so that's clearly got up to near enough that temperature. Yeah. So we're obviously not very far off. <gasps> that is amazing. Right. Let's go and do with the next one. So uh, we'll start you off. Right. And I want you to see it's exactly the same. Let's foil the next one down on this bottom corner. I want you to see that it's got the same temperature if we do it up here or down here, or in the middle, or in the corner, or whatever it is, it's always the same. And I'm just, I mean, look at that there. I mean, that is literally, onto cotton fabric, yeah. absolutely perfect. That's a great point as well, isn't it? Because a lot of people might just be tempted to, to pop whatever it is that they're using in the middle of the in the middle of the plate, thinking like the mm. middle's the hottest point. No, that, and that's one thing. And Leanne worked tirelessly for months, making sure, actually it was over a couple of years, this was in development, yeah. uh, all over the edge of the plate. They've got like these little, it's like little spider's web of wires. And it's the wires with all of the heating sen sensors. So it's actually, the technology is a lot more difficult. If I show you the smaller foil press, yeah. I mean, actually, we could have foiled this one because it's quite small onto this small bit. So when you're doing your quilting, you just if you're just foiling quilting panels, you could foil them on your small foil press. The big foil press is brilliant for things like when we did the bag. Oh, oh, oh crikey, I better, I better crack on. Then I'll finish my train of thought. <laughs> uh, if you're wanting to foil things like the bag, 
then it does make all the difference having the larger area and it's like I say all the time it's not that you need the larger area because you're doing larger bits of foiling it's because it's all about the positioning so you've got the positioning perfectly right I mean look at that when we did the face mask and we were able to foil onto an 8 inch square piece of fabric mm. you can't and the thing is your Gemini machine it's not like you can just have the fabric flapping out the end you can't do that because there's just no the, the yeah. opening's only so wide there's no way for it to go so this gives you a nine inch wide opening and I mean all of the bag pieces for our die well here's how I know they're going to work the, you can foil the bag pieces for our dies because the dies themselves are fitting through the Gemini so obviously the foiled pieces need to fit through the Gemini as well so here we go right and again when you just peel that off You've got oh, that absolutely great. perfect. Never tire of seeing that. I mean that, and that's just wonderful. Yeah. So I've got my couple of foiled pieces, right? What I'm going to do now, by the way, I would keep all of these because these will be brilliant. You can transfer. Do you want me to show you how to transfer your waste foil, right? So pop these in, get these up to temperature. Do you know I've never tried transferring waste foil onto fabric. I've got some scraps of fabric. Uh, where's that lovely? Oh, she's she's in there. She's bringing us some scrap fabric, right? So Ooh. I'm going to take a little piece, it literally is my scrap fabric there, little piece onto there. Oh, so is this a Sarah first live on TV? This is a Sarah first live on TV. Right. This is what happens, Ben, when I get a little bit confident, yeah. right? And uh, you've got to remember sometimes we are doing all of the, oh, the, oh, the cut on them scissors is absolutely <laughs> divine. It's absolutely off the chart divine. Now, what you've got to remember, Ben, yeah. is that these are not, these aren't, um, I can't remember what I was going to say now. These are, um, no, no, right, there's oh. no dye in there. Mm. That's what I'm saying, there's no dye. So you've got to have to replace that pressure with something else, okay? So we've got the heat. Uh, I'll do the minute countdown. We're going to replace the difference with the magnetic plate, okay. right? So the difference that would have been the foiling dye, I'm going to use the magnetic plate and I'm going to bring in a couple of shims of cardstock as well, all right? So I'm going to pop a couple of them onto there. Maybe we'll pop a couple of more on just to be on the safe side. So it's nice and nice and thick. So this is going to take the rest of the foil off the... It's going to transfer the rest of the foil off the, off the carrier sheet yeah. onto your fabric. So you'll still be left with that pattern. And you know what it's going to be wonderful for? making some matching buttons so you could uh, foil yes. all of your waste onto your scrap fabric make matching buttons with them yeah so oh, I did excited. mention that actually so there you go you can do and then especially if well, you've you got can. your I haven't done it as yet. well you've got yeah. to remember I haven't done it yet no, then so no. uh, maybe maybe but we can do it shall I get the, my button factory out yeah, ready the point is Sarah right. today's been such a success with everything that you've done I have no <laughs> doubt that this is going to be a, a huge success well I tell you what if this works yeah oh my word all these bits that were left over those could be your face masks. <laughs> you could yeah. foil that waste onto yeah. your fabric. You can get a two for. You can use all your scrap fabric, get two for the price of one. Yeah. Two for. Oh, Ben, Come now on. you're talking my language. When, you when you're talking about getting best value for money and no waste, now you're talking my language, okay? But I have never tried foiling the waste onto fabric. It's going to work. You say that, Ben, but how do you know that? I just you've know it's, never just, tried it either. it's just one of those days today where it, everything's <laughs> everything's working. It's all going well. <laughs> Ten I minutes don't... away from the end of the show. It's been a brilliant show. Nothing can go wrong now. Oh yes, can it? I, say, I said to say I needed to leave early tonight, Ben. <laughs> need to, need, tonight, I need to leave early at the end of this show, Ben. Yes, I'm gonna have to run. Ah, no, come yeah. on, we'll, we'll we'll see how it's gone. <laughs> look, if it doesn't work, at least you've had that experience with yeah. me of trying it, haven't you? Yes. Oh, look, let's have a little look. I've had a lot of pressure on there. A bit of glue coming out. Right, probably a bit too much more pressure than what we needed there. But if it's gonna work, it's gonna work, right? Oh, it's only yeah! worked, Ben. It's all. Oh, it's only yeah! gone and worked. So those are the carrier sheets, which has transferred all the. Oh Told you. my life, I love it. Yes. Right. Oh, now now you're talking. <gasps> Why did I just use them little scrap bits? We got, oh Ben. Right. I'm going. Uh, that's it. We're getting all of these out. Smashed it. We're getting all of these out. We're going to foil these onto eight-inch pieces, and we're going to make them into face masks. Because I tell you what, making buttons all of a sudden doesn't seem anywhere near as exciting as using army <laughs> stuff for face masks. Right, come on, guys. Here we go. Button factory. 
and then I need my pen. I love the fact that so I had all of these different things planned for the show, and now this this has been found. We've gone off on a tangent, and we're just we're just looking at this now. But brilliant, isn't it? The fact that you know you can use your way so successfully. Love this button factory details coming up for you here because you'll need these as well. So you're going to get today your button factory, uh, but you're also then going to get uh, two packs of the refills as well. So 30 extra buttons to go with it. Uh, you're getting those free on the deal that we've got today. 10.99 or 40.95. It does come with this little template that you're um, you're seeing here to be able to make these buttons perfectly. And there's the little factory in front of Sarah's hands there as well, which there you'll we see. Go. Oh, where's the, where's my fancy scissors gone? Oh yeah, your fancy scissors. <gasps> right, my fancy scissors. Oh, Ben, they cut an absolute dream. Right, yep. here we go. So you're going to keep all your scrap bits of foil. You're going to keep all your scrap bits of fabric. This is literally a 100% waste project. So all we're doing is using scraps of everything. Can I just tell you that fabric has foiled fabulously well? Yeah. Way better than I was expecting it to take. So that's the trick, guys. You need to put your scrap bits of foil. You need to give it about a minute and then you're also going to use um, three bits of cardstock. Okay. So loads of pressure onto there. Yes, I know you're already you've about fed up for the day. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. You've done your job today. We're quite happy. I, I, I love that I'm Four literally Preston talking taking over the, the shows. They've been so demanding, haven't they? So demanding. So demanding. The two of them, they're like, we've had enough. We're going to cool down. Now, that never happens, you see, when I do a paper craft show. But it does happen when we do fabric show because you need the foil press at the higher temperature to foil out the fabric. That's why, go and scour the internet. I challenge you to find another company who's done live shows like this foiling onto fabric. Yeah. Yep, you just won't find people doing it. Right, button factory. So, I've got my two little pieces. I've got my outer and my inner, right? F my foiled fabric. You go face down into here. And you push this piece here in and then all of this comes inside you put the back on here and then we pop that into place and that makes us the perfect foiled button great all right button. do another one do you want to have a go hey do you want to have a go do i yeah well you know you're a star in everything stars can do this sort of thing right there's the inner the outer right i'm on my way over all right we're gonna do it together i'm on my way over no I'm oh, going yeah. to have to hand you it and I'm going to in the structure. You have to... Right, here we go. Yeah. There we go. Right. Thank go you. On. Do you know what you're doing? Uh, I think so. And so I've cut your little circle out. Yeah. So you're going to put the circle face down. Yeah. That's it. Then the outer part of your button. Yeah. Uh, not, not the inner no. bit, that's it. Oh, Just that bit. that bit. Yeah. Push that in. Yeah. Then pop all your fabric into the middle. Yeah. Then you're going to put your other little bit on. That's yeah. it. And then you're going to use your red bit on the back and you're going to pop that into place. Now, not being funny, everyone, but if Ben can do them, surely anybody can do this. I'm just pushing down with push that, down, right? That's it. Just yeah. push down. You've done it. Have I? Yeah. And then you literally pop your button out. Hey! hey! Come on! One button factory yeah. for Ben. One Who's the star? Who's ben? the star? <laughs> yeah. Hey, ah, seriously, that's brilliant. Ben, you're not going to believe this. Our viewing numbers have just gone through the roof. I'm well, not, and I'm not actually even kidding you. <laughs> well, do you know what? It was, it was like a few weeks ago and I did that great little string demo for you. I'm doing buttons now as well. I mean, I am just next level. Next level. <laughs> that's great. No, but it just proves how easy it is, doesn't it? Because like Sarah says, if a fool like me can do it, anyone can do it. I Love never, it. I never called you a fool, but no. you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a little look. So... Our incredible foiled fabric. To think in 10 minutes I can get a whole whole quilt piece done. Right, let's have a little look. So I've got this piece here. This goes, let's have a little look. I want to make sure I've got all the pieces. This is going to go onto here, right? And then where I've got this, I'm going to put the green into there like that. And then I'm going to come with my other green piece on here. And I need my other foiled piece in there. And then my pink bit is going to go in there like that. Yep, that looks about right to yeah. me. Right. Awesome. So I'm going to go piece these bits together. And I'm going, yeah, you know you're right because the, the uh, doggy is lined up. Look how perfect. You have to have a look at the overhead. Look at how perfectly those edges line up. Absolutely. So if you're yeah. ever in doubt, as long as your edges line up, you're perfect. Right? Right, I'm going to do my stitching together, Ben. All right. Uh, you just talk amongst yourselves while I. Uh, well, I will. I'll make a few together. more comments. I'll just show you my. Uh, got this. Uh, it's just the. This is, you too can make buttons like me. Look at that, I did that, I did. Look at that. 
It's great, isn't it? And loads of people getting very excited about uh, using the uh, the waste, um, as Sarah did there. Uh, Patty saying, love that idea, brilliant. Um, Mary Pat has put, now I don't know whether this is um, for Sarah's demo or whether it was from my buttered making, has just put, wow, <laughs> brilliant, excellent, uh, and four clapping emojis. Must be the button making, right? Must, must be the button making, must Ben. That's, that's all I can think it must be. Uh, and Susie T on YouTube says, way to go, Ben, superstar. Doesn't he know it? Hey. We are not going to hear the end of it now. Hey, got the backpack to prove it. Uh, Kathy on Facebook says, my goal next year is to make all homemade gifts. I definitely need those scissors and the foiled eyes. And right. Tammy says, I've I got have... one thing. Oh, right. Why, why next year? Why does that have to start next year? Well, people might why think they're running out of time. No, they? so uh, honestly, I am doing all of my own handmade Christmas gifts this year. And this is me in the, almost the middle of November. Wow. And I've still got to start them all. But uh, I just don't see any reason why not. So you could do all your own handmade Christmas gifts. Well, there you go. I've left him speechless. Well, th that's told you. There you go. Uh, who was it who said that next year? Kathy. Make it this year. Sarah says, yeah, I suppose when you think about it, what are we? The, what day is it today? 10th? 10th of November? So you've still yeah. got, what, 20 days? You've got 45 days to go. That's plenty of time, isn't it? 45 days. Seven, just under seven weeks. Go on, Kathy. Give it a go. Um, Tammy says, I have the multicolour retro scissors, which are fabulous, but the rose gold scissors that Sarah is using looks to find still available, but not huge quantities. Um, Kathy also said, the foil press, so much prettier in person. Love my foil press. Uh, Julie on Facebook says, Ben getting crafty. Laughing emojis and celebratory emojis. I know. <laughs> uh, Jean on Facebook, I love Sarah and her excitement with everything. Ben is a star. Yes, um, we know. We know Ben's a star. Ben's going to keep reminding us yep. that Ben's a star with his lovely star backpack from yeah, now on. Yeah, and Cindy on. also just saying, uh, loving the backpack. Uh, the backpack is, uh, well, it says hilarious, but um, I, I just, I mean, it's great, isn't it? Is it hilarious because I'm wearing it? I don't know. <laughs> it looks great. Doesn't it look great? It doesn't look hilarious, does it? It looks great. It looks great. Yeah, it looks I mean, great. Yeah, come on. Come seriously. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I wear this later on as well? Because um, it's Craig's here later on, isn't he? Craig's so coming up later on, Much yes. Craig. Well, so I was going to be doing the show later on. And then uh, I have now, I've got to go on mummy duties and do ah. the school run after this. Ah. So I was like, right, can't do both. So, no. uh, so Craig said he would come in, which I'm absolutely gutted about because I had the most amazing launch party planned. Yeah. And I'd already got all the demonstrations ready. So I've left them all for Craig. You guys are going to have an amazing show later on, Ben, I promise. Well, we are looking forward to that. We shall certainly miss you, Sarah, but we will uh, look forward to the uh, the Scotty Hottie uh, being in the, uh, in the studio. <laughs> Uh, in just a little while. Uh, he's what? He's wearing his Christmas jumper. Oh, wow. I, got, I, I have to sort of uh, start getting my Christmas jumpers out very soon, actually. I've got a, a, a good uh, good selection of Christmas jumpers. I mean, he will be hot in his Christmas jumper, anyway. Eh? The hottie Scotty. Of course, tell you what, isn't he, eh? Already boiling in here. Boiling. Right. Look at that. So I've done my first corner piece of the kaleidoscope with the foiling in. Doesn't that look lovely with your foiling in Absolutely, there? Now I did yeah. have, let's have a little look. I had a couple of, so I had some plain panels as well as some foiled ones. So I'm not going to get them all done in the last couple of minutes that we've got of the show, Ben. But I will absolutely be able to just uh, whiz down the end of here and just show you what one foiled one in amongst two plain ones would look like. Because that's how I'd be doing it. Yeah. I would just foil the odd piece. So look at that, see there, and then do exactly the same here. So I've got my pink one into the green, and you wouldn't do this ordinarily. Obviously, you yes. do your two together, but I haven't done two. I've only got one. So, uh, so you can see what a three uh, a three quarter quilt would look like. Yeah, right. We'll have a good look at a three quarter kaleidoscope. But if a three quarter one looks good, folks, you know, a full one's going to just be amazing. Exactly right. <laughs> um. I've never stored three squares together like this. I don't think anybody might have done actually, because why would you do that? You're just making it difficult to put the fourth one in place. But here we go. <laughs> right. Right. Look at our look Yay. at our kaleidoscope coming together. Beautiful. Looking immense. I know. Look at that. And look, I'm foiling, I'm, I'm ironing oh, straight the over the foil yeah. piece. Oh, and wow. I will let you know, guys, how I get on uh, with my foiled face mask when I've run it through the washing machine a couple of times. Oh yeah, yes, definitely do that. Be good to know. Um, so there you go, uh, brilliant. Uh, if you want to go for the uh, Quilters Guild Die collection, 
16 elements in there for £69 or $83. Um, just to mention as well, just before we disappear, I can't believe the two hours have flown by. Uh, the foil press, the 9x12 uh, platform for your foil press, that is still available for you. Back in stock after it flew out during birthday and sold out. $99.99 or $129.95. Of course, bear in mind, if you haven't yet got your foil press machine, you will need to have your foil press machine to use in conjunction with your 9x12 platform. The machine itself comes with the standard platform. And don't forget those scissors as well, by the way. I did have them a minute ago, but they've disappeared. Oh. Three quarters of the stock has gone. Honestly, uh, they're they are. When it comes... Oh... <gasps> Oh, yes, look at that. Talk about the perfect cut. I mean, absolutely, Ben. Even through foiled fabric there, the absolute, and it's that perfect, perfect clip as I hold against me microphone. Yeah. Uh, the last of the last of the last of them. I thought we'd completely sold out. They've obviously found an extra box or half a pallet load or whatever at the end of the warehouse. But once you've got them, you've got them. We'll not be making any more. Uh, 50 chances left to buy. I'll tell you, that's how many we've got. 50 more pairs of uh, scissors left to go. And uh, once they are gone, they are gone. £10 today or £12.75 if you want to go for those. Should be £15 or just shy of $20. Uh, big thank you to Sarah. It's been a brilliant, what a great show it's been. Thank you so much, Sarah. I loved it. It's, it's been my absolute pleasure. I really hope me playing about with the foil press with the sewing machine gives you the confidence to play about with the foil press and the sewing machine. I mean, we haven't done bad. We've done our lovely foiled face mask and even, even my little Sarah, my Sarah face mask special. At least you see how to do that. We've done that gorgeous bag with the foiling on the front of the bag as well. And then the best, the best was over there was Ben's fabulous bag. So we've done the gorgeous, he sat, you're going to have to go. You're going to have to go and see his star bag. Oh, new lunch bag. Love it. New lunch bag. You look so good. You look so good. And of course, our quilted foiling, our foiled buttons. You can foil everything. You can foil everything now. Um, Sarah, thank you so much. We will see Sarah very soon, I'm sure. I will see you all in um, around about an hour's time uh, with uh, Craig. Uh, just to finish, Gilmore says, Ben, you need to start autographing swatches of uh, fabric now for all of your fans. Well, funny you should say that, Gilmore. That's what I'm just going to go and do for the next hour. And uh, we'll be back with you uh, with Craig in an hour's time. Make sure you check out your baskets and we'll see you very soon here at Crafters TV. We'll be back, back.